feel I didn't know if I wanted to do one thing or the other. Okay. Um, for, like, traps and stuff, I'm using perception and investigation. Does that help you? Is that one of your two? Um, I want to have a check. Uh, I know insight is one, um, by the check on what the other options were. It just gives me advantage on things. So we're starting in the town of Homestead, and I'm basically peaceful fat, town of Homestead. Peaceful, well, <laughs> um, I'm basically fast forwarding through the parts that would make a really good book, which is the building of the team. So you're all together. New game, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I checked the skill. On. I got the. Uh, I only had like the choice between insight, persuasion, performance, and intimidation. I chose uh, insight, so I have advantage on insight. Performance, right? Just performance. You'll need that. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, now nah, I'm not gonna defeat people with my sick flute skills. Sorry. Chance might. Okay, um, there are a lot of townspeople. Uh, the main guy you'll want to know is Dax and Hardbottom, a dwarven elf. A dwarven elf, dwarven male. Uh, he's Maybe a noble. Maybe step down. And the other one you might want to know is Leonid Embrash. <laughs> Leonid, a tabaxi male, is also a noble. Sorry, t tabaxi adventurer male. I'm stumbling over myself. Anyway, Leonid uh, is from the party that went missing. And he came back to town about a couple days ago and said, hey, my party that had nobles in it for the rest of this town, the town's run by four, no four or five nobles, two of them were in the party, and now they're trapped behind this dark spiderweb-looking thing, this dark miasma that's out in the wilderness. Spiders, why do they have to be spiders? So as you're getting ready for this, uh, quest to go save these people, uh, Daxon is telling you you'll get paid 200 gold a person. However, the local shopkeepers, uh, Gareth and Daneth, have put items out, on, uh, some of their wares out, and it says if you'd like to take uh, some money out of your fee, you can have any of these items from the player's handbook. There's even one set of full plate. Does that make sense? Giggity. So if there's anything you wanted, you can take it out of a fee that you would get in, in the future. And you can add it to your character now. <clears throat> anything off the equipment list? Thing from the player's handbook equipment list, yes. Okay. How many adventurers were there? I think all five. Played, five total, and one of them came back. Two nobles and three adventurers. So, would they be willing to trade up, like, my chainmail for plate? Yeah, but there's only one suit of plate, so fight over it. Alright. 
Well, can anybody else in the party wear plate? <laughs> light nice. armor here. Sorry. <laughs> the light armor wear will take the plate and throw it open. <laughs> I'm not even certain I can carry it. What do we know from... Uh, you said Vax was his name? What do we know from speaking with him about where we're going? Is it mountainous? Is it desert? Is it swamp? Is it what's the? Didn't you say like it was a forest? That's a good question. Oh, we got hexes. Okay, I I want to search the shop for a flamethrower. You find two flamethrowers. <laughs> In the world of Elorion, uh, <laughs> there's this dark miasma that's out in the plains and it's about three days away each hex is a day's worth of travel is the miasma something that is known to the world or is this a new phenomenon this is a new phenomenon it's about a week old people no one goes out there there's no reason to um homestead is uh their their main good that they're stockpiling right now is magical woods like these, uh, these woods. This the forest that's next to Homestead, and the one further out to the left uh, are are enchanted with elemental powers. And the wood that you get from there can be resistant to fire, acid, electricity, any number of things. And it's uh, it's just going out and getting it. Logs that don't burn are useless. Unless you want to make a house. Unless you're building a ship, or a house, <laughs> or a cat tree to climb on. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but in general, I would not want a log that cannot be burned. I love whatever you say, Pyro. The last example was quality. And remember, you're going to be getting 200 gold from Daxon each. Please take the cost of your items out of it, so you know how much you're getting. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything I want. Yeah, outside of the plate, I don't think I have much care, but the plate is 1,500 gold. I forgot it was so expensive. We'll just take all yeah. your out. That's fine. It's worth mm. it. It's a little something we call a contract. <laughs> <laughs> not not written, but it doesn't have to be. Verbal contracts are, are viable. Alright, cool. So no chain mail. I'm happy with this. <laughs> I'm the true healing tank now. And he it gives me 28. Nice. Keelan is a monk, I assume you're not taking anything. No, I'm taking a couple of things. Oh, okay. I'm going to get another hand axe and a <laughs> potion of healing. Nice. Uh, you're getting, by the way, uh, either after or before you take your items, you're, you're informed, I'm telling you now, that you're going to get a handy haversack and three potions of healing for the party. Oh, okay. You have a sack and hold a lot, and it always weighs five pounds. Yeah. Well, who's going to hold the sack then? Doesn't matter to me. Well, I would suggest that we split the uh, healing potions up amongst others in the party. Someone wants to be the healing person. 
Well, that's what I mean. Split them up so that multiple people have it. So if you need to get to somebody, you can. <laughs> you know? I bought one, so I'm good. I, I don't... Makes total of four. Uh, Leonid Embrass, I've just put him on your map, is the surviving adventure. He'll be leading you to the Miasma. I'm just, I was still looking at things to get. Are we, we're getting this before we go, right? Yeah. I knew it would take a little bit, so this is a no pressure. We'll play when we get a chance. I'm feeling pressured. <laughs> <laughs> Too much pressure. That's strange. Yeah, uh, the the way that cleric works for spells, um, because they have a prepared number versus yeah. the known number. Yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> Yes, and remember your domain spells are always considered to be prepared. Yeah. I think it was less and pure ones. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I had... Okay, never mind. <laughs> it all makes sense now. A healing potion heals 2d4 plus 2. <clears throat> Everyone read that? For some reason I had it memorized. We wouldn't have books in front of us. I'm, I, I pretty much got to memorize too. What I don't remember, there's always Google for. Does anyone have D and D Beyond open? Uh, I, mean, I did. You can use that so to search, <clears throat> and I will be using that if we have something that I can't handle. You can no, we want you just to call it out of the... No. Uh. Is my equipment ready? So there are, let me count to make sure, four nobles that run this town, and two of them were in the party. Daxon is here. Uh, the only one missing is Mormont Everbright. And he's away for whatever reason. It would be important for him to be there. And the people you're going to rescue, not I, I don't ask you to remember this because they'll have printed labels, but the people you're going to rescue are Fizzle Winterbaum, a noble tabaxi, Bayard Jorgen, an adventurer human, male, sorry, Lady Bismarch, a human noble, and Thomas Hopridge, a human male. Fumbling over my lists today. I wanted to make a terrible joke about the tax fee, but. 
<laughs> you got a problem with Fizzle? A too much for that. Jeez, apparently the place is crawling with him. I'm just so, hoping he doesn't fizzle out before we get there. It's worse. <laughs> it's it's worse because I gave him a kitty cat wearing a hat picture. You'll see him. <laughs> Forget Puss in Boots, it's Cat in Hat. Parkour! I, I have a stylish hat. You have a stylish hat. I like that picture, by the way. Thanks, I stole it. <laughs> For the most part, I guess I'll take a... Uh... Kits. The herbalism kit, the healer's kit, and the climber's kit. Hey, you've got pythons and herbs. Whatever healing kit contains. Probably hope. No hope. Uh, this kit is a leather pouch containing bandages, salves, and splints. The kit has 10 uses. As an action, you can expend one use of the kit to stabilize a creature that has zero hit points without needing to make a wisdom medicine check. And for some reason, the healing kit has uh, medicine in it instead of hope. I, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that you might not want to do that, considering I have Spare the Dying Cantrip. Mm -hmm. well, what, what if, if you, you go, go down? down? <laughs> hey, if I go <laughs> down, I go down. Like... That's all there is to it, but I mean, it's I mean it's it's like it is five gold. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was more expensive than that for some reason. Uh, I mean, I'm not even. I mean, I'm gonna, I don't know if anyone you can even use an herbalism kit. I mean, I can try to learn, but it's also five gold, and then the climber's kit is twenty five. It's the most expensive one, and then I can't think <laughs> of anything else to kids. get. You need a kit to climb. Um, it'll help you. Gotcha. Most likely give you advantage on it. For, some, For the, um, whatever JP says. Katash, he's, got, he's got natural claws that he can climb with as a tabaxi. Well, as a non-tabaxi, I don't have claws. Sucks for you. Let me just commune with my my ancestral spirit person and tell them, hey, why can't I have claws? No, but you can get a lot of other really cool stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm picking for right now. Thirty-five gold. So Liam and the party that's been there, did they tell us anything about what they encountered there? Uh, Liam, it tells you he made it to the first room of what looked like a dungeon. And there were people chained up, and his people were knocked out. Okay. With some, some sort of debilitating device that he didn't get a good look at, he just ran away. How we all doing? I'm good. I'm done. Yeah. Okay. It's one. I'll, I'll 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 choose to be done. Okay. I bought a second hand axe, caltrips, and one potion of healing. Nice. So. Oh, can we buy more potions of this? Because I didn't see them in the the player's handbook equipment. Only the potion of healing's in the equipment list. Still available. Still allowed. So yeah, you can buy them. Mm -hmm. Alright, and how much are they selling them for each? There's no good way to turn a price. Uh, 25. Alright, if 
for 25, I'll buy two. Did anyone take the the sack? Never sack. If not, I'll take it. It sounds like it's yours to me. Okay. While have people are going through their lists, uh, Keelan, why don't you tell us why you wanted to come move to a frontier town? Hmm. Well, my character in general is uh, running from a past that he um, continues to run from, and uh, locations such as Homestead on the frontier uh, make a good place to hide. Fair. Uh, who else is done with their equipment? Yo. Why don't you tell us why you wanted to come to a frontier town? Chance traveled to a frontier town after discovering a love of music and song, after living a life uh, laced with crime and uh, very questionable activity. He's seeking to redeem his past as well as uh, become a strong and powerful adventurer, as well as sharing that with other adventurers who seek the same thing. And money. I like it. That's good. Uh, Matt my is... character. Okay. My character is on a pilgrimage uh, from his group because they're all monks and they. Well, I mean, they're monk like people where they just stay in one place and he just wants to go and see the world and help people. And he read stories about heroes and dreams of becoming one. Very good. Grinwall uh, ended up at the frontier due to a prophecy that was held at his temple saying of an impending evil that was to come and he was to go get real world experience in order to help fight it. Little knowing that, you know, the party he would end up with is more likely the party that's going to fight evil in the prophecy itself. Uh, I think that's it for prep if everyone's done with their equipment. Uh, Cat Ash and Green Wall, you guys done? Or Katash, I guess. What about me? You done with your equipment? Yeah. Okay, Green Wall? How do you say that name? Grenwall? Yep. Grenwall, okay. I mean, I don't think I get to do much other than the plates. Plate mail, okay. It's a little unfair as is. Well, someone could be nice and give you stuff if you ask. Comes out of their pocket, though. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I got plate. Like, 20 AC level 1, let's go. behind that guy. You set off on your way. Uh, Leonid is your guide. First day is uneventful. You move one square. Someone roll me a d6. Second day. On the road. Uh, give me perception checks, please, while I set up your minis. Woo, starting off strong.
Greenwall and Keelan, uh, as you're moving and getting ready to camp up for the second day, you hear a growl, a, a loud, pained, but deep growl off to the south. What do you want to do about it? Are there trees and bushes around, or...? Uh, there is light, uh, light cover, yes. Bushes. Mm. I would warn everyone to, to take cover and kind of duck behind a tree or a bush or something. Uh, yeah. Cover yeah, sounds good. With a warning, I'd see cover as well. How far away does it sound like it is? Is it before I'm hiding for nothing from nothing? <laughs> I usually hide from nothing. Yeah. In your guys' mind, you hear, "Oh, I'm I'm hiding already." I've drawn the shrubberies. No more will be drawn. <laughs> Off in the distance, you all can see once you're behind shrubbery. The, the <laughs> the beacon of inspiration that Trevor gives. You see a bear being attacked by four wolves, a, a medium-sized black bear. Uh, give me... Oh, how should I do that? If you're hiding in a shrub and you don't want to be seen, give me a stealth check. I, I already... Threw one down. You want me to throw another one down? Oh, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. If you rolled one, that's fine. Oh, very good. Hopefully, hopefully these bears are not that perceptive. <laughs> Everyone did great. Oh shit! Hold on. I forgot. After all, with disadvantage. I counted. F oh, oh. Full plate. Mm. Yes. <coughs> clink, 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 clink. <laughs> As one of these wolves is attacking the throat of the grizzly, grizzly. I, if I may bear. interject, yeah, I uh, did not realize which one had the full plate on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he takes one labored step as this wolf is on his throat. He sees you. And in bear, he yells, "Help me!" You can understand uh, him. Bear? You can understand him. Say what now? The bear clearly says, says, "Help me." Okay. Is this in common or bear? A uh, bear. Do we? Yeah. This is high uh, fantasy, fellas. I don't understand. Well, I'm a giant talking cat, so let's save the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do we need to roll initiative for this, or how do yeah. you do turn yes. order? Yes, roll initiative. Okay. I need to set up the turn order thing. Let me figure out how it works. Right. Oh, Can cool. I incite the bear? Just pop it out. <laughs> Click your token. Do I trust the bear? Yeah, I got it popped out. Uh, uh, the bear seems trustworthy. I like how this auto-updates. <laughs> yeah, I see the... You have to thing. have your token clicked when you do your roll to have the auto-update thing. Mm. Thank you. Oh, everyone initiative. All right. Oh, let me roll their initiative. <laughs> How do I add that? I'm learning on the fly. You can just click on an entry. You should be able to add like where there's a name, you know, like underneath it, there's a spot. There you go. Like in the turn order? I'm not seeing it. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, I can't see it because I'm not the DM. But there's a, like, where the name is, the name's like Chance Killing. Like, the bottom line should be like for a new one. I can't click it. Worst case scenario, I'll write it down with paper. Yeah. 
If you uh, if you click on uh, you can click on one of the, the tokens and just roll again, and then you can change the number to whatever you want. Numbers are three and twelve. Moving on, Keelan, you're up first. <laughs> uh, what about <laughs> Chance? He has a nineteen. Yeah, twenty-two is higher. What? You got, you got a twenty-two. I, no, I have a seventeen initiative. The oh. stealth was twenty-three. That's the okay. stealth was a twenty-three. This I got a 16 me. on initiative. Let me, I have to type these numbers in. Keelan, what'd you get? 17, 19? 17? I have, a night, I have a 17 on initiative. 17, okay. Chance, what'd you get? Uh, I have a 19. That's correct then. Keelan, why are you in twice? I'm so confused. I, I don't see twice. I only see once. I don't know what happened there. The 17 is the correct. Okay, Katash, what did uh, you get for an initiative? Should we just... 16. Okay. Greenwall, what did you get for an initiative? 9. For some reason, I'm the only one that's on the turn order. You're, you're a 16M in the numbers. Hmm. That's Wouldn't weird, because I see... I see Chance myself and a nine for somebody. I don't. Yeah. It's Greenwall. Chance, yeah. you're up. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 but, uh, 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 yeah. What are the three wolves in the back doing? Are they all looking like they're about to uh, start picking apart this bear, or can we distract them, or what do you think? Uh, they have bitten into the bear previously. They are tasting the blood and savoring Ouch. the meal. Only the one uh, that's it, attacking. It's on his back currently. That sounds like crossbow time. Okay. Because I don't really know what else to do, and I don't know if any of these wolves stand out in any particular way. So basically, I'm going to shoot from cover at... Uh, I suppose the wolf closest to him, the one that's right on top of him. Okay. And I'll just use my light crossbow... Um, set up, but this is not accurate damage. Because it's a hand crossbow. 17 hits. Do your damage, please. Nice. Uh, you strike the wolf through the eye, piercing its brain. It dies, what? It dies instantly. You got murked. Keelan, you're uh, up. Reload oh, did my you, crossbow did you want to move? and carry on. Okay. Uh, no, I, I like my position to cover. There's no way a wolf knows that that bolt was <laughs> not a natural phenomenon. Keelan, you're up. <laughs> Wouldn't it be me? Oh no, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. So is the bear on the, the bear on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll move to here. All right. And I will throw a hand axe at the wolves. Do you have one in particular? Uh, oh, 17, nice. This one closest to me. All, All right. right. Uh, so that hits five, and does four ten, damage. Okay. And when he does that, I will take a step up and kick him. Alrighty. In the face. <laughs> Doing six damage. Mm hmm. Kills him. These wolves were a lot tougher when I was mapping this out. Uh, not, you know, not, not to be smart to you guys. I'm sure you're all badasses. Katash, you're up. Do I have a clear line of sh sight you to the right southern there? wolf? Uh, yes, since technically the bear is your ally and he's not in the way. And you can see over the bush. 
So allies don't count for being in the way. That's what I'm ruling. Mm. I'm Altrix Blast. Let me figure out how to do that. That's... Um, okay, and then it's plus five, so 19 hit. That hits. Okay, and that's 1d10 of damage, so... <laughs> uh, do you have a modifier? <laughs> Let me check. I don't think so. So one damage. <laughs> I think so. It's not nothing. I mean, literally, it can't be. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, all I had that takes one. Did you want ten force damage? Force damage. I'm sorry. Did you want to move? Uh, as long as I can keep on shooting him from here, then no. Okay. Uh, wait. Does the bear look unconscious? Does he look like he's on death's door? Uh, no, he's just down. All right, then I will stay. With my electric players on the ready. Uh, the bear's turn at a 12. Uh, he's going to... I guess shore up right against Keelan. And he's going to get on his back feet and get ready to swipe the next wolf that comes at him. The bear ready to action. Ooh. Grenwall, you're up. I'm going to just go ahead and charge right through the bush that I'm standing behind. Okay. It's a very lightly light bush. It does not count as uh, rough terrain. Well, good. That gets me close to this wolf, and I'm going to try to maze him in. Do it up. I did. <laughs> five. That's a red. I believe that's a critic fail. Yeah, it was. Um, in situations like this, when we're just fighting wolves and the other guys are handling it pretty well, I'm not going to penalize you for a crit fail. But when it's more dramatic, I will. Fair enough. Uh, you Still move. getting used to the plate. I just kind of trip and hit my face. It's fine. Nice. Uh, you, you had a minor action, and is that all you wanted to do? Did you want to move anymore? Uh, I'm out of movement. So. Okay. And with that, uh, the wolves are up at four. Let me bring up their sheet. Okay, the wolf's going to attack you, Grinwall. All right. The nearest wolf to you. Thirteen hit you, and you're twenty. Yeah. <laughs> so no, it does not. Sorry. And the second wolf is going to charge Keelan. And the bear is going to use his ready to action. He's a burr. That's a hit. He does seven damage with a claw. That wolf is hurt. You can't see the hit points right now, but it's there. Uh, the wolf's action is still going. Uh, he's going to attack Keelan. Twenty-two to hit Keelan. That'll hit. Alrighty. Uh, the wolf on a bite does seven piercing damage, and I need you to succeed on a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Uh, the five will not cut it. So mm -hmm. you are knocked prone. It takes half your movement to stand up from prone. Mm-hmm.
And with that, that's all the wolves and the bear and everyone else. The chance is up again. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, one of my friends fell over. Yeah. How do you do the cool line thing so I can measure distance? With the measurement tool over there on the left-hand side, that little hot bar, it'll be the fourth icon now. Or third from the... Did I roll damage Ooh. for healing? Yeah, seven. Yeah, you just said seven. Oh, okay. Let me subtract it from here. He's hurt. That's not good. Hey, uh, actually, I was looking in my spells. It says modifier plus three. Does that is that for damage? It's for attack and damage, I believe. Is that am, uh, I, am I not right? No. The, the, no. the spell my my spell attack is plus five, and my modifier is plus three. Oh no, uh, the, the attack. That's has doing a... your proficiency. Yeah, if you use the sheet, we roll proficiency. It's set up like that automatically. But you're not using the sheet. Well, I, I don't know how to put that in. For my spells. Let me check. What spell is it? Eltrix Blast. It's just 1d10 force damage. When you, when you click character sheet, um, and you're on the character sheet page, on the top and middle, there's core, bio, and spells. You can put it in, in your spells area. Woo. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, and if you uh, click on the I in the upper right-hand corner, it, it pulls up a compendium. You type in Eldritch, you can drag it over, and it'll automatically fill in everything for you. Because nice. we have that particular spell unlocked already. Where is this at, again? Uh, By the chat. The top bar of the chat, it's the I. If you click oh, okay. on that, then search Eldritch Blast, and you can drag and drop it on your character sheet. It'll automatically fill it in. Okay. I figured out initiative. Nice. Uh, I'm not really sensing much danger right now, so I'm just going to uh, keep crossbowing. A, B, C. Always be crossbowing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to target the wolf in the back of the pack. Okay. And next to Greenwell. Un unwounded. Oh no, he's wounded by one. Wounded by one, and now about to be wounded by nine more, because check this out. No, oh, or, or five. Five's good, too. Ah, uh, 24 hits. Uh, five will do. And you're not dead, so I don't want to heal you yet, so basically I'll <laughs> spend the rest of my turn uh, getting my pipe ready. Nice. Looks like it's gonna be victory. I'm gonna smoke one. Exactly. Let me reorder your initiative. Chance just went, correct? Decent. Yes. Okay, now see everyone has names. It works. Oh! oh I gotta delete somebody. Deleted. Uh, Keelan, <laughs> you're very it. hurt. Yeah. Um... I am going to um, stand up from prone, Have and then I am going and I'm going to swing at this one here. Okay. okay. Uh, Thirteen hits. Six points of damage. Kills it. Um, and I'm going to move to here. Three second attack. And unarmed strike that one for six points of damage. Yep, yep. Kills it. Mm. As the last and, uh, wolf... Go ahead. And you see Killen, he, uh, he not only kicks it, but he kicks it again when it's down. <laughs> it's dead. Yeah. As the w last wolf falls, the black bear sits on his hind legs and says, thank you so much for coming to my aid. The growling makes it hard to discern what he's saying, but you can understand him. Um, Keelan also looks around uh, specifically at this <laughs> the areas I can't see. I just want to make sure there's nothing else out there. There might be. Uh, you don't uh, see anything, but I'm hiding that for minutes right. and purposes. That's fine. 
Yeah. <laughs> Easy, click one thing. <laughs> Grinwall, in his embarrassment, sits down and starts readjusting the armor, trying to get used to it a little more. <laughs> nice. Anyone want this pelt? Are you going to skin all the wolves right now? Do we have time? That's a good question. Uh, Leonid, Kevin starts Leonid. tending his wounds the best he can, obviously. You gonna drink a potion or ask for healing? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just kind of going over the wounds myself right now. Oh. I'm not, not gonna drink a potion this soon. Does anyone have any healing that they can spare? <laughs> uh, yeah, we can if you're worried about it. If we can take a short rest when your hit die. It'll only take five minutes. Um, I can communicate with this bear. Yep. Using, uh, if I can't understand his bear language, I can use message. Hmm. And I mean, I can speak telepathically, and I guess you I what? <laughs> So I'm pointing my finger at the bear, and uh, I'm sorry. What race are you? Um, what race are you playing as? Katat? He's a uh, it Kalashtar. Is. Oh, Kalashtar. We are quite a group. Yep. Boo -boo. Yeah, sticky keys got me. There we go, no more of that. Oh, okay. Uh, no, if he can talk telepathically, that's a lot faster than me pointing my finger at it every six seconds. And Well, I was going to... I'm, I'm going back into what I can do and see what it says about that certain thing. Well, long story short, we do want to communicate with the bear. We want to find out what the bear is doing, why the bear can talk, what the bear knows about the meows, but tell me everything, bear. Well, I, I guess my question is, we, we heard the bear speak, so I'm listening to all this conversation, and I'll walk up to the bear, and I say, why were you being attacked? The bear already spoke to us once, right? Yep. Yeah, and the also bear... just for just for future references, uh, I can speak telepathically to any creature within, uh, we change it to 90 feet, because I have two things that go together. Uh, they don't need to share a, com uh, a language with the creature for it to understand the telepathic messages, but the creature must be able to understand at least one language or be telepathic itself. Can he speak back? And I can, spend a, I can spend a bonus action to let them speak back in my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keelan, uh, yes. as they're talking about this, the bear in his bear language starts growling to you, I am Prince Faisal. My people have come under duress during the pillage of our forest. Bear royalty. I was trying to get to town to talk to your leaders. Who Sorry have about you the, come about under the attack from? The wolves are opportunists and do not see the peaceful nature of the forest. They saw me alone and thought they could kill me. And they nearly did. Is it not nice to scan animals in this world? You say scam? Scan. Skin. Oh, skin. Yeah, you can skin them. They're just animals. Okay, I just... just talk I have ones. no idea what's going on. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I like to be an opportunist, too. So. Maybe the wolf was a prince. You don't know. Unless in the wolves. <laughs> it's a dead prince, whatever. So when he talks, I mean, it's out loud because we all heard it. Yeah. Right? So it's, yeah. It's, um, it's that he's growling and grunting, but you hear it in your mind as words. Okay. Mm Sounds like it's psychic. Mm. Telepath, telepath again. What were you seeking amongst human friends? We want them to stop plundering the woods of its magical wood. Oh, we need that magic wood. 
Maybe a contract could be devised to only take a few of the trees on the edge of the forest. I shook this guy immediately. I mean, what? I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm sure that we can come up with some kind of sustainable cycle. Maybe we could give you some regular wood and we can have the magic wood. Leonid pipes up during all this. This is, this is all good and well, but uh, we have prisoners we need to go save. We're trying to make fair treaties here. I mean, to be honest, they're all probably dead already, aren't they? <laughs> okay, okay, that was a joke. We do need to get to work. But how do we help this bear uh, receive a royal delegation? I'll be waiting for a few days if you care to send someone at the north end of the Lonely Wood. And what happens if we don't? Then I'll trek into town again. And if they don't listen? Hopefully, something can be arranged. If you're a prince, why don't you have guards? I'm not a wealthy what was prince. This, what was the bear prince's name? Faisal. Could you spell that? F-E-I-Z-E-L. What do you like say about guards? And the last name was Barrington, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Paddington. Bears don't need last names. There aren't that many of them. Oh man. There's not that many bears, they're going extinct. Maybe. Sadness. Old Keelan, what's happening with that? Short rest. Um. Yeah, but I'm gonna ask the. I'm gonna ask Faisal. Uh, have you heard anything of this miasma? And ask him if he knows anything about that, about the veil. He seems puzzled but you have a general indication of where the area is, and he point that out to him, and he's like, oh, the wretched. something, Something unearthly that's been wretched out from another dimension. It's not natural. It's not natural to Greyhawk, the current realm. Were you still on the ground? To me? Did nobody Stupid help Greenwall up? Armor, not nice. It's okay. Well, armor will be very nice when you get stabbed. This yeah, is true. At that, I'll let the rest of the party kind of talk and figure out I'm going to go. Well, well yeah, we need to move on. Rest. Uh, we can take a short rest, but then we need to move on. Leonid wants, really wants us to get to these other adventures, and it's important that we do. So the whole bear campaign, I mean, we'll have to come back to this. We're, we're in a bit of a mission ourselves. Save the people, then the trees. Then the bears. That too. Alrighty. Uh, we move on, yes? You said that sure, counted yeah. to, to take a short rest? Yeah, it's five minutes. Well, they take... Oh, really? In your game it's five minutes? I forgot. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's heroic. Epic resting. Epic heroicness. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was, I was going to say, if they're taking a short rest, I was going to skin some, some wolves, but... A long rest okay, is Okay, just skin them, jeez. <laughs> I want to, but there's not enough time. Tuck him under the bushes. Have her sack and let's go. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the haversack's hole is not big enough. I would have to cut him into pieces. And who has a couple hand axes you could use? <laughs> it's blunt. Let's just go. Alrighty.
Oh, that's they can only hold points. 20 pounds of weight anyway. Nice. Ah. I was uh, wondering what the uh, limit on those were. I've never had one before. So Homestead is near a forest, as you'll notice. Its trees are less dense because it's been forested so well. Whoa, we got a wagon? Yeah. And <laughs> the lonely forest is to the left. It's the darker green. And he will uh, be... so he can't... He... Sorry. Go ahead. He'll be meeting... Uh, I was going to say, the bear came that far out from the lonely forest? Yeah. He'll be meeting you there. Okay, on 1806. 18.006. Damn, too bad it wasn't 007. Whoa! I don't even know where 007 is. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's left to right. Okay. I didn't know how yeah, they were call, ordering it. Column and row. Uh, as you continue traveling. Do, 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 do. <coughs> The rest of that day is uneventful, and you'll sleep one more night, so uh, there'll be time to skin the wolves, and then the next day, you'll arrive. Let's cut back to this area. Okay. Uh, it's February. Yeah, let me describe this real quick, and I'm going to move you guys around a little bit. Oh no, one disappeared. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit in the area in front of it, and then I'll change maps and take you to the area where the actual dungeon is. But as you're approaching, you see this. There is a nearly perfect-looking sphere of black spiderweb-like material covering a cave entrance. It extends hey. th through the rocks and around the cave. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the the only question I had is, how far away was this from where we were? Where we, how long have we traveled? Uh, this is the third day. Okay, so then, yeah, we had a long rest then. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, that's yeah, that's good to know, yeah. Yeah, you have to rest after eight days travel, or eight hours travel, or you get uh, a level of uh, exhaustion. Exhaustion. Yep. Jinx, you owe me a healing potion. Woof. <laughs> uh, Leonid points to the cave opening that is before this sphere, and as you look into it, you can see that the roof of the cave is actually pierced by the sphere to seemingly no effect. It's like a hologram. Whoa. And out of the cave entrance comes another member of the adventuring party. Thomas Hopebridge, Leonid points out to you. He's a human adventurer, not to, not either of the two nobles. And Leonid approaches him as a friend. He says, Thomas, do they let you go? How are you here? Thomas takes a step Who's forward. They? The captors. I'm a, I'm a I'm bit sorry. suspicious of that. Um, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's about yeah. to get his ass busted. Definitely. And he embraces him as a friend. They hug. And Leonard says, mm -hmm. tell us how do they let you go? And Thomas Hopebridge stabs yeah. him with a rapier. What? Okay, well, Blast. Leonard, hey. after what? being stabbed... What? 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 After being stabbed, Leonid slows down, and his movements are very heavy. Roll initiative. <laughs> Make sure you click your token. Ooh. Um. No, you cleared mine. Sorry. You cleared the turnover. Yeah, he had he had the old one on it still. We gotta start over. No, I like mine updated. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Yeah, what? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. I put uh, Kadash's in. Thank you. We were all very close together in initiative. That was funny. Nah, my initiative was to initially Tom's taken. 
<laughs> Does Anna know where I can find what kind of vision I have for my character? Should be in your racial description. I can look it up for Kalistar real quick. Uh, should be somewhere in DMD Beyond. You just type in Kalistar and it'll it'll pop it up. Thomas goes first. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It would appear that you have normal vision. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Alright, are we all ready? I say everyone's healed, that's good. Do I get my Ultra Splash off before the initiative since I said it? Who are you blasting already? We don't even know what's going on. Didn't, I, didn't we see the guy get stabbed? Yep, we did, but we don't know anything about why. But I do admire the Cavalier attitude. <laughs> uh, uh, if well, you want personal... to blast someone and try to surprise him, he's not going to be surprised, but you can you can, you can make the attack. If he's not going to be surprised, then that's fine. Uh, Thomas Hopebridge is up. Let's see what he does. He walks past Leonid. With his rapier out. That's all he has. He's wearing a leather chest piece, he has a backpack, and he's holding a rapier. That's all he's got. And as he walks past Leonid, Leonid turns to stone. Oh. Why did you stab him? And he goes after Chance. Oh, so he's just a cat hater, huh? <laughs> oh, shoot. So 20 hits See, this is why we... AC 15. Yeah, it hits. See, this is why we <laughs> blast ah, people that ah. ask questions. Wait, Rapier does D8, right? Yes, yes. sir. Hiss. Take 8 damage, Chance. Oh, I can do it. That's most of your health. Just give him a chance. Well, <laughs> chance is up. <laughs> chance is up. Is he turning to stone? Uh, not yet. <laughs> um... Hmm. Hmm. They don't still do opportunity attacks for casting spells in melee, do they? Usually spells in melee are disadvantage. Oh, right. snap. Unless they explicitly say that they are a melee-based spell. Yeah, like a uh, booming blade. Yeah. Alright, well, Chance is freaking out and he's running away. My action is to disengage, and I engage my feline agility. Okay. When I move on my Ooh. turn and in combat, I can move double my speed until the end of turn. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. I basically, you know, I'm a cat. I do that thing where they jump in the air and run in the other direction. I like it. <laughs> And while I'm running away, I'll scream expletives and heal myself using healing word. Who got 20 more feet if you want to? <laughs> oh, yeah, I could get 20 more feet. Oh, I thought that would roll it for me. It didn't roll it. Hang on. And heal seven using one of my spell slots. Meow. If you're casting it from your spell sheet, they don't always uh, post the actual attack. You have to cast it from your attack and spell casting on your primary core. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
I'll have to set that up later. Or you could just go in and edit it to cast from your spell page. Some people will play it. Okay, I'm hoping I don't spam the box again, but I might. Hang on. Okay, good. I was, I was making, ah, I was making sure that I was using it properly. Uh, Keelan is up next. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't like that whole. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move in, I guess, to here, and I will attack him. Sorry, I did that in the reverse order. So, hand axe. A ten, ten both twice. times. Hmm? A ten misses. You're not using flanking, right? No. Okay. Cool. Oh, no flanking in this game? No, I thought that I didn't need it because rogues get that ability by themselves. And that oh, was a snake. Thing. Yeah, they got rid of flanking. Uh, I've never wanna... heard... I didn't ever... Moving into um, uh, no, that's it. I, I did a, I did a attack and a uh, bonus action, so I'm done. Okay, alrighty. Katash, you're up. Katash. It's communicating with the ether. Hmm. Oh. I'm back I got a lumber in here, but I gotta get nailed. Alright, and I'm melee. Like, okay. So it doesn't matter. Alrighty. Ether seems to be overflowing into the rest of it. Oh, this is my turn? Sorry. You're up. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna look at him and out of class. Did that work? No. Learning day, we're all learning. So where do I have to go to shoot it? Uh it if you added it through your spellcasting page on your core page, there should be the attack and spellcasting box. It should have updated it there automatically. If not, you can use the compendium to drag and drop it to your attack and spellcasting just like you did with your spell page. I don't think I see it on my core yet. All right, if it's not in your core, do the same thing you did for your spellcasting page and drop it in the core box rather than your spell. Oh, okay, yeah. And it'll add it as an attack rather than a spell. Okay. It's an odd question, but does anyone need a break after this combat? I'm personally good for another hour.
Yeah, for some reason it doesn't let you add Odor no. straight to your spellcaster. Yeah, it's not. I'm messing everything up too. So I'll just, I'll just roll it. I'll have to figure it out. It's a d20 okay. and a d4. Ah, so, okay, so five what does this do plus five plus three. I, I don't know if that's what we're doing. I don't know. That's right. Five from your 20, three from your 54, and plus three from your ability. So you had it right. Uh, and 11, is that right? 11, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. We'll miss. Okay. I got. Um, Do you want to move? I'm, yes. There. All right. Next up is Grenwall Leaf Flight. Uh, I hate this so much. Can't figure it out. Since I'm a warlock, is this is this all charisma? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm back to the Greenwall. Um, my bad. Um, I will use my inflict wounds on him. Did I hit? Yep. Crap. Uh, that knocks him out. He's down. Alright, cool. I didn't want to kill him. 16 then. damage is correct. Uh, if you don't want to kill him, just say you knock him out. Yeah. It's like in the base rules now. If, if you ever knock a creature to zero, you can choose to not kill it. No matter what the attack is with. Okay, so you have a person turned to stone and a person that's unconscious. That's the end of the combat. And you have a looming cave. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back over to where I got stabbed and pick up my pipe. Since fine. I'm right here, I'll, I'll uh, kind of take my uh, axe and I'll start pushing things around on the body in front of me. Uh, he Just seems like a see regular, if there's anything there. Like a regular dude is not carrying anything. Uh, however, as you're poking him, you notice he has a second set of eyelids. One vertical, one horizontal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this spell to see if it works now. Okay, guys? Alrighty. 16. And then uh, click the Eldritch Blast tag and it'll roll the damage. I see that. Okay. That, that looks like that's sorted. Whoa, uh, as um, except... Huh. So uh -huh. apparently, I did, so apparently I did get it add 3 to the last one, so I didn't do 1 damage, I did 4 uh, no. damage. Not yet, sir. You have to take a special no, ability to get your charisma damage. Oh, really? Yeah, one of the, um, it... I forget what they're called, but you start getting them at level 2. Oh, All right, then I gotta change it. Yeah, for level 1, you can only get your, uh, you only get the straight D10. But starting okay. at level 2, you can take those features. I don't remember exactly what they're called. They're like, they're not the pack things, but they're, they're like the warlock secrets, and one of them is adding uh, your charisma damage. Yes. Alright, then I will take it off. Who 
Who knows? So for that, Go ahead. I was just going to say for that, do I just, instead of selecting any of the things, I just do the, the line, the dash? Yeah. Okay. Also, I, uh, just curious, is everybody else's uh, proficiency bonus fucked up? Rolling. Because I... I, I see that they're rolling D4s oh, okay. for the proficiency. Yeah. Mine was fucked up like that, and I had to redo my entire character. Whoa. Well, I thought he was doing that. I thought that's what JP said he was going to do. He was going to use the alternative proficiency. I thought that's why that was set up that way. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah it, uh, the command for it is at PB on the character sheet. So if you edit the value of PB to be a D4, it should work for all your proficiency bonuses. Okay, I was using default proficiency. Matt, um, did you have a, a block of Velveeta in there? Yeah, I think, Katash, I just noticed. So yeah. on your your roll, you, you have a, a 16 for that roll. I see yeah, a 7 I was... is what you rolled. A yeah, three, I noticed that too. A 3 is your proficiency bonus. A 3 should be your... Maybe your charisma, and then there's another plus three for some reason. This needs to be used right away. Yeah. August of 2019. I think I I think I have my modifier in twice. I think. Okay. Because I wasn't understanding how it was working. Yeah. Yeah, he has okay. charisma modifier then proficiency. Three charisma, three yeah. mod, and his D4 proficiency. Well, the mod is charisma. No, I'm saying that that's how it's currently set up. If you hover over the 16, yeah, it uh, gotcha. shows the 1d20 CS less than 20. Then it shows that he has charisma plus mod plus proficiency, but he needs to just remove them from yeah, the uh, double the dip. Formula. Yeah, that's that's what I did now. I, I fixed cool. that now. Now roll 20 is uh, fun if you don't remember how to use it. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, I don't know if we got. I don't think me and JP got into it like this for our characters. Uh, I can't remember. No, I, I've never used it heavily. I, I'm I'm glad yeah. you guys were there knowing how to help. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get this all fixed by next time. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So for the attack, I just have. The charisma, then plus zero, plus proficiency. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I have my proficiency reset to D4. Sorry. Okay. So, uh... What's going on with the stone man? Is that going to happen to me? What do you know about magic items? Not much. You could discern. I'm gonna give you this one to you, so it makes sense. Uh, he was stabbed with a magic rapier. Well, I assumed it was either magic or poison. Uh, it's called a blade of the Medusa. Hmm. On a crit, it turns people to stone with a, with a save. Oh man. And he was uh, not expecting it, so it was so it was a crit. It was a coup de gras. Does uh, anybody else use rapiers? Uh, I think I can only use simple. Well, then I pick up Tom's rapier. <laughs> <laughs> There seems to be no one else around. It's just him. He's unconscious, and uh, whether or not Lanyard comes back, or if there's something you can do for him, you don't really know. Let's just mentally mark down where he is, and if we can, we can save him later. No symbols, nothing. Just the, the double set of eyelids on this guy, right? Yep. One horizontal, one vertical. They're all half closed. Guys, I I think he's gone. For now. Can we carry him home? Put him in the garden. I have he's so a. Pretty. I have a plus zero to strength. I am not carrying him. 
Uh, you are right out in front of the cave, I just haven't switched maps. It's like 50 feet to your right. So he's not hard to find. About how much Maybe we should... he... My bad, go ahead. No, it's okay. I was gonna say, let's just put some sticks and shrub around him, so no one finds him, and then go into the cave. About how much with? would he weigh in his stone form? <laughs> 250, 300 pounds. <laughs> I think I can barely carry that. <laughs> Whoa. Well, if, if we, I didn't have any of my gear. If we crush it up and each of us carry a few pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to drop and crush and destroy this person. That was good, though. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, I, I guess um, with that said, I'm gonna walk up to the to the cave. You know, it might be a good idea to gently uh, lay the statue down. <laughs> you know, just so someone doesn't come knock it over and risk a higher chance of breaking it. Yeah, the neighborhood kids come and push it over. There are bears that can talk. <laughs> Dang, hooligans. You know what, you're probably right. Let's just leave them. That's why I was going to cover up him up with sticks and twigs and leaves. Looks like a bush. Mm. Chance you still wounded one hit point, I think. Tis but a hole in my chest. I'm fine. Tis a scratch. Uh, as you go towards the cave, you see that dotted line right there. It represents this spider-like covering that is around the cave. You can see through it. It's dark in the cave. Let me put a thing here. I have to reveal an area. You can see that it's a it's a certain area thick. And past that, you can, like I said, you can see right through it. Past that, there's some doors. What does this thin veil look like? Black is it? Black spider web, and it's constantly shifting and moving. So black undulating spider web. Yeah. That's disgusting. Mm. Well, if it's anything like regular spider web, it'll burn. Anyone got a torch? You should be fine. I got one. I'm going to get my clothes. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. Um, I was pretty sure too. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, look at all my colleagues and say, uh, are we doing this? Grinwall casts light at it. Um, it's exactly the same as casting light in open air, so the spell fizzles. Are we trying to get right. through this? Well, I try to step... Okay, as you pierce the veil, you are surrounded by a dim, grayed-out field of color. And you cannot him see... Him or it. all of us? He's the only one that went in, so just him. Okay. Uh, you can still see through it, but as you look up, there looks to be no atmosphere. You can breathe, but you're looking at stars. There's no roof where you're at. Can I see him? Yeah, you can see him just fine. Okay, I tried to talk to him telepathically. Are you okay? What do you see? I talk back to him telepathically. Yeah, I'm fine. Is he able to talk back? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, just make sure. Hey, I nodded. I'll walk through too. No. 
Uh, the same thing happens as you pierce the veil of the black rainbow. Uh, uh. And uh, uh. <laughs> that's that's what he named the game, guys. Thank you. Uh, the colors are everywhere. They're muted. But they, yeah, it's also like totally sick. But there's an overlay of color. By the way, I I can carry the statue. Nice. Whoa. Uh, Keelan, once you pass through, it's <laughs> it's slightly different. Um, you can still see through the the veil, but as you move, there are motes of darkness. Once you're inside the sphere, that kind of follow you, kind of like if you were swimming, that you'd see the ripple of the waves. Well, I'll wait right there. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you can also. I'm gonna Keelan. try to step back too. Okay. You step back just fine. Okay. Yeah. So are we still rooted in gravity, or do we feel like we're in some kind of like actual plane or there something? There is still gravity, but you're. It, it's as if it was a perfectly clear night, but you can still see oh, the okay. sun. I'll step through as well. Bloop. Uh, the rest of you, as you see the two step through, you can see these motes of darkness that follow their movements. You can see it clearly from your side. I pick up a stick, cast light on it, and throw it at one of the motes of darkness. It passes right through. And now it's brighter in here. Does anything change? Nope. Oh, there you go. We're still alive. Come the on through. The area gets slightly brighter from the light. Because it's a dark cave. Also, I, uh, I do possess dark vision. I, I don't want to. It's not fun. I pick up the stick. Aw, uh, come on, big guy. We're both in here. We're just fine. He hesitates before he gets a running start and just dives through <laughs> it. There he goes. Nice. Whoa. Do you close your eyes when you go through? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're hit, even with your closed eyes, by dim color. Like someone would just hit you really hard. It doesn't hurt, I'm saying it, it. You're stunned by the color. Yeah. And now we have a dimly lit set of doors. Hmm. What do the doors in this cave appear to be made of? Uh, the rock has been hollowed out from the cave, and they are wooden doors. So someone do has we worked... See... Hmm. Do we see any traces of creatures in this cave? Uh, no. There's no debris or detritus or carcasses or anything like that. Any possible belongings of the adventuring party? None that you can see. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you. Well, I'd like to spend a few minutes looking around the cave just to make sure we didn't miss anything, but if it looks clear, I suppose we'll just uh, check this door out. As you approach the door, uh, under the cracks and through the opening, the keyhole, you can see light dimly. And as you get close to the door physically, uh, you can hear chanting from inside. What are they chanting? Uh, you can't make it out. It's an odd language. It sounds weird. Does it sound like Infernal or Celestial? Uh, you've heard those before, so no, it doesn't. Oh. So you're saying that no one could possibly know what they're saying? Uh, someone might. What do you know? Not much. Let's see. I know Celestial, Elvish, Common, Giant, and Infernal. I know Elvish, Undercommon, and uh, the the one I have for Spirits is Q-U-O-R-I. I think that's how it's pronounced. No, it's, it's an otherwise alien language. Hmm. 
It's definitely not undercoming, guys. <laughs> so the doors are like halfway open or partially open? Uh, or... That's just how I draw doors. They'll all be like that. They are closed. Okay. Are there any markings or symbols on the door? Uh, no. Can I check it for trip? Yes. Let's see. Is, is that investigation? Or perception. Investigation is where you think a trap might be. Perception is actually finding it. Okay. I'm not so good at this, guys. I might need some help. I decided a while ago, with that being the difference, that the only way to discern a perfect trap, one that's unseeable, would be investigation. So that's the only difference between the two skills. Well, I mean, I just listened to a podcast, and they say that you can look at things with perception in to actually find things like traps is investigation. So um, I just, I'm not sure. I don't know your style yet. Ready? So I don't see anything, guys. What do you uh, think? What was the help action? Does anybody remember that? Yeah, if you take the help action, you get advantage. So if I help you look, you get advantage on the roll. Is anyone else better at looking at this stuff? Oh, what are we we're using? Perception. I can or, take a look. Or investigation. Somebody want, yeah, and we're working together, right? Investigation. Oh, and, I, I I thought we couldn't do it, investigation. I thought you said just perception. Do either one. Well, I, I tried to outline the difference. I I'm sorry because I would have gone. I would have grown differently. Yeah, there it is. So, can I now try in my investigation? You can try as many times as you'd like. The only thing is, it takes about two minutes to try. Yeah, and then somebody okay. can help him too, and he'll get advantage. You give me an advantage on my investigation? Yeah. I'll help him pick him up, let him look over the top of the door and shit. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, there are no traps in this door. It's clean. Well, I try the handle. Is it locked? But it's not locked. Let's go it's see what locked. they're chanting about. Is it a push or pull? Push. Okay, push it open. It's a push door, but they put the sign on backwards, so you look like a fool. <laughs> Hey, I'm ready. Let's go get them. Or in? possibly be their friends. Oh, new friends? Okay. I'd just pick him up and walk through. What? Yeah. So this, <laughs> who's the best at like finding traps and stuff? Uh, if it's investigation, I'm pretty good. Uh, if it's perception, I'm trained in it, and I have um, I have other thieves' skills and tools. I went like half thief on my character because we didn't have a full thief. Yeah, just deciding who should be going down the alleyway first here. Well, Not I mean, Mr. Plate Mail. If uh, if it's investigation, I mean, if it's perception, then I'm not proficient. I'm not I guess proficient I'll, either. So, I guess I'll take the lead and sneak around and look around. Yeah, I'm pretty. And what I in. see is uh, three doors or four doors. Three doors. Well, a double door and two doors. Okay, a double door and two doors. Okay. Is there uh, anything in this room? It is ghostly stark. It's barren. Okay. Well, we have his uh, lighted stick now, so it might be yeah. very difficult for us to hide anywhere. So Should we're kind of this... try to remember. Well, as... if we throw, yeah, hmm. yes, go ahead. Try to remember as you're moving, you're casting these ripples of darkness. I really don't as think we we're going to be ripples. able to hide very well. Okay. And as you get into the hallway, the chanting is coming from each door. You cannot stand near a door and not hear the chanting. Maybe the side doors are to a balcony or something. I agree with checking a side door. Well, I think I think somebody or two of us maybe should sneak up to see if we can get closer to understand what's going on. Maybe we can see what's actually happening in there, get some visibility to it. Uh, there are keyholes on each door. 
even though they are not locked. Well, I'll, so I'll look through one of the kills or nobody else's. Sorry, I had a phone call. I can, uh, I, I will look through the keyhole into the double doors. I'll check the side. Wrong character, but oh well. We'll get rid of it. There we go. Fixed. That is the zone you can see through a keyhole. Uh, there is a lot going on. There's movement to the left, to the north. There's chanting from all around. One of the chanters in the middle that you see there is doing something on a stone slab. There's also another being there with white feathers. And he's, like, operating on the being. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm not so concerned with what they're doing. What, what do they look like? They are humans in purple robes. They're cultists. Are you saying they're, he's operating on someone? Yes. That's what it looks like. I mean, I know the economy's really bad, but do you need to go to some guy? He's not even licensed, is he? So it's okay to skin Worse wolves, than that, he okay didn't wash his guys? hands. Um, so that's all oh, I can God. see through the keyhole? You can't see the rest, it's too, it's too narrow of a keyhole. Okay, Is there anything I, on my I side? withdraw and uh, tell my comrades what I saw. Wow, that was interesting. I say, what are you doing, Kadash? I see you're at a door. Yeah, I said, is there a keyhole? Yes, there is. I want to try to look through. You see a spiral staircase ahead of you. I tell Beckley, tell Chance that I see a staircase. Chance, you hear a voice. And he, can, he can reply to this message. Does it go up, down, or both? It goes up. It goes up. Technically, all stairs do both. <laughs> Perception. Perspective. Well, I would definitely suggest taking the stairs up instead of barging into what appears to be some kind of operating theater. But we have to yeah. save the pretty birdie. Can't let it get hurt more. I'm good at being out of the way. I'm bad with details. Was one of it was this bird person that we're dealing with one of uh, possibly the adventuring party? Uh, there is no Eric Hoker in the group. It's two tobacco Ooh. and three humans. Okay. Well, uh, did the did the Eric Hoker seem alive? Um, from what you can tell, its eyes have color, but it's being cut open. So your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but you know. <laughs> You're ruining well, I, it. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose we should. Uh, we should approach this with more urgency. So uh, let's flip a coin. Are we going to bust in and save this guy's life, or play it stealthy and walk around the side? Let's split the party. An excellent idea. <laughs> Uh, I say we bust in. Save the bird. And a one. And a two. There's one more person in this group, right? You go through the doors? Well, I was going to, but then I remembered that my strength is 8, and I probably couldn't open this door if I wanted to. Hmm. I got 10. Uh, hey, big guy, you want to help us out? Luckily, Greenwall is uh, taking the initiative here. Through the door, and I charged headfirst into it. 
Ah, I like this guy. As you bust the doors open, the rest of the room is revealed. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, he, he's just... definitely within my attack range, so I'll try to run up and hit him, like, in my continual... Alrighty. You're in your the finish of your charge. Uh, let me describe the room real quick. It's stark like the other room. Uh, the stone is white. And 20 feet up on each side, north and south, there is a raised platform. You can see it from that middle room, and they can see you looking down. There are a total of five cultists in the room. Uh, four people in the north are chained to the walls. And there's another empty operating table. This uh, air coker looks like it must be dead. He's got it torn open. Mm. But he's still working on it. Hey, right, um, can I run in the room as well? Yeah, we're, we're taking some actions and we're going to roll initiative. So what did you want to do before initiative? I'm going uh, to try to hit him in the back of the head with the base. <laughs> Uh, you can do a surprise attack, so go ahead. Uh, can I also do Ultra Blast? Yes. Okay. They I did not know you were first. coming, so... <laughs> you get one action. Uh, uh, <laughs> 23 hits him. I'm gonna try to shoot a guy on the platform above me. Uh, and how do you do the thing? Ring uh, is gone for 7 damage. Okay, let's try this again. Hit. And... Three damage. Nice. Uh, which one particularly yeah, that was, one hit? Left or right? It was... Um, it's gonna be left, and it's the first guy. Okay. I don't know if I can... Yeah, that one. Yep. R hold on, let me, clear, let me clear initiative before you roll it. This is a good thing for me to do. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, roll initiative. Grinwall is clearly pissed about the bird. Uh, did we learn how to do Katash's initiative, or do you want me to do it? He needs to click his token on the board first, and then hit initiative. Alright. Okay. I can write down a 15. We'll just oh, remember sorry. next time. Okay. Green wall, Leaf Light. You are up. Leaf Light! Yep. No! The birdie! And hits him again. Alrighty. <laughs> nice. Is that a crit? Oh, it's not green. Nah, that was a, a 16. Uh, that'll take him out. Not a lot of hit points, these guys. I'm noticing that for a low-level party. One dead cultist. Uh, the other four are up on race platforms. I I am my turn. Okay. Uh, Greenwall, the tools he was holding as you as you fell him uh, were of a somewhat odd make. They were dark iron. Katash, you're up with your fifteen. Um, hmm. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Kill a person. We hope so. Yeah. Well. Uh, I, I don't know if you haven't killed anyone yet. <laughs> Let me check. That hits. That does hit. Ooh. Dead. Yep. 
with one extra to go. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, do you want to move? Is this a pillar right, right, right in front of me? No, it's an operating table to your right. There's nothing uh, in front of you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. How 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 much is the platform raised? Twenty feet. So if I moved here, they wouldn't be. This guy wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, I'm gonna say you could still see his head. It's it's kind of a slope. It's so, uh, every, every, so everyone can see the operating room. Or all three. Um, I'll just be right here, just okay. in case. Uh, the cultists are up. Five. Drops down. Rolls. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Katash, you're going to get a hit. Hopefully. We hope you hit. I hope you don't. Did I understand he just jumped down? He just jumped and rolled from 20 feet. Does a 12 hit you? Nope, 13. Okay. <laughs> I'm lucky. The other two both jump and roll. Thirty. And they're gonna attack Greenwall. First one on the left. Eight to hit, miss. Second one, nine to hit. <laughs> nope. Cultists are done. Chance you're up. The doors are open, you can see most of what just happened. Um, of the two cultists that are in my direct range and next yep. to uh Greenwall. Uh, Greenwall, yeah, I just tried to... Um, do either of them seem to be more powerful? Or are they of the same general make and model? Um, these two specifically are different from the rest. They're all wearing burgundy robes and carrying scimitars. But these two have stones of rocks around their hips. Stones of rocks? Nets of stones. Nets of stones around there. Okay. So each has a bag uh, of stones. Just to ensure solidarity with my friends, I am going to move into the room. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then I'm going to take a shot at one of the two guards uh, that are attacking. Do you care which Greenwall. one? No, not at this moment. Okay. Twenty-one hits. Alrighty. Anything else? Uh, not for now. Everything. Well, no. I'm going to give inspiration to Keelan as a bonus action. Did you have inspiration? How does that work? Oh, bardic inspiration. Okay. You just roll another d4? D6. You get a d6. Once within Ooh. the next 10 minutes, you can add the die to an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Nice. Hot. There's a little symbol. You are inspired by the bravery of this cat that has run ahead of you. <laughs> Keelan. <laughs> Keelan, you're up. Um, feeling inspired. Yeah. I will rush into the room and do a little roll and so rolls uh, today. I think I want to come on this side of him so okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yep, so I can do that Yep. and I'm going to swing at this one kind of do a roll between his legs and come up and try to stab him in the back with my axe uh, what race you have? Well, you're a size slower so yeah oh no you're medium are you small? what are you? I'm small, yeah, but I have size, halfling nimble you're as well, lower, so, so that I, works. I can move through his space. So, uh, so I s slam into his back with my axe, and then I am going to try to kick him in the knee. Yep. But I missed the knee. You might not if you use your inspiration. Ooh. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't say if it failed yet. Yeah. Um... I can try it. We'll see. I mean, unless you were saving it for something Five. specific. Thir Thirteen is a hit. Ah. We knew twelve hit. 
Okay, so six and four damage, is that correct? Yep, ten damage total. Did you want to even it out or just go go against one altogether? You said no, I'm going to go against this one. Uh, that kills him. Did you want to kill him? <clears throat> uh, yes. Okay. He's running through all the bases. He's dead. Yes. Uh, anything else you can do? Um... I'm going to telepathically tell this guy he needs to run. <laughs> before I kill him, too. And Green I yell wall. at him. Green... <laughs> <laughs> Greenwall Leafly, you're up. Rather than... Well, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and try to knock him out. Okay. Or... No, I, I'll just grapple this one. Rather than try to knock him out, because I'm... I don't. I know I didn't knock the first or kill the first one with one hit, so I can't kill this one in one hit theoretically. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just roll for grapple. Um, strength check. Uh, it's either athletics or acrobatics, whichever you prefer, and he gets to op oppose with the same. That was terrible. Yeah, he beat you. No grapple. Alright. That ends my turn. Katash, you're up. There are two standing cultists. Alright, um... Well, question number one. Uh, do I need to have a free hand to do Eldritch Blast? Is uh, there a somatic or... component? Yes. Are you holding an arcane focus? Then yes. Then no. You can just use your your arcane focus hand. All right. Well, I, I, I what I wanted to, what I'm asking is, can I do the can I do focus in one hand and a dagger in the other? Yes. All right, and I'll okay. Um, since I'm close and don't want to use my action to disengage, I will just attack with a dagger. Okay. So let me double check on how to do that. Okay, so plus four. No, um, wait. Uh, this, uh, the modifier for this is my dex, right? So plus two instead of a three? Is the dagger a finesse weapon? I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Dagger is finesse. Alright, so. D20. And that, and then. Plus 2 is 13, and then the D4, right? Yep. What? 14? Does that hit? It does hit. Alright, okay, and dagger. Uh, 1D4 plus 2. Ooh, yes. Six damage. Very hurt. Who do you work for? Cultists are up. You done? <laughs> yes, I'm done. Cultists are up. The one to the south, being flanked by Greenwall and Keelan. Uh, he's going to drop his scimitar. He's going to reach into his bag of stones. He's going to throw a stone at Greenwall Leaflight. Uh, it's a melee range, so he will have disadvantage on it. Alrighty. I was like, what? Uh, he misses. The stone careens off to the right. Uh, as it hits the ground, it makes a electric sound, a shocking z -z -z -z. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking, something like that. As a player oh, yeah. with a character in plate mail, I am thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> and yours, Katash, is going to attempt to run away further into it. Right there, can you make an attack for opportunity? Okay. Um, I just do the same thing. Nice. Then plus two. That hits. Um. Okay. Um. 
How much health? Like, okay, I, I you guess can see I the bar, don't can't know. You? I, it's Let's very small. Zoom in. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh yeah. Oh. All right. So no matter what, I'm going to deal the three. Um. So I'm making. I'm trying to make this non-lethal. Okay. But anyway, I'll just roll it. So that's six. five. Okay, five. Oh, minimum one. Uh, yeah, that that does it for him. He's knocked out. Okay, we got one. Yeah, three plus two is five. Uh, that is the end of their movement. Chance, you are up. This cultist is unconscious. There are four prisoners tied up. They look exhausted and can barely look at you. And then there's the one in front of Greenwald. I point at the one in front of Greenwald and say, things aren't going so well for you, are they? And attack vicious with my mockery. vicious mockery. Okay. <laughs> that is an incorrect Shame. roll. Shame him to death. on a save DC. And the save DC will be... Thirteen. Wait, don't they don't they roll for it? Yes, uh, but with a rolling proficiency, I have to uh, set the DC each time. Oh, okay, that's good to know. That's four psychic damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack until the end of his next turn. Alrighty. Do you want to move? And. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over to uh, to my buddy uh, Katash here and just visually inspect him to make sure he's doing okay. Okay, Keelan, you're up. Keelan, sorry, I was on mute. Okay, I'm going to attack this one in front of me. Yep. <laughs> my hand axe missed. He looks pretty weak. He's right now unarmed. He dropped his scimitar. Um. I am uh kidding. I will uh do that with an attempt to knock him out. Okay. Uh the second one lethal damage. Okay. And does enough damage. So that's two guys mm -hmm. knocked out. And I and you said this is how high? You said this is twenty feet. Twenty feet. Uh, are there any handholds, ledges, or anything? Uh, there's a slight incline. It's slanted that way. So once you get a grip on it, you could walk up it. Okay. Q and one soap. I, uh, I think he wants to throw you up there. Um... <laughs> it's like I don't know if my life is worth all that. Well, I can no, scramble up there. I'm gonna I'm move to here. Bird. I got a climber's kit. I'm gonna move to here for now. All right? Okay. Become a discus. Uh, you hear a distinguished voice from the corner that says, "Gentlemen, if you are quite finished, could you please unshackle me?" From Fizzle Winterbaum. You may have met him before. I was going to tie up the guy I knocked out before I did anything like that. Alrighty. And then I'll go to the fancy guy. Or someone else, if someone already got to him. I grab the guy that Keelan knocked out and drag him over to you and slam him on him like a rag. Nice. Uh, with 50 feet, I guess we can tie them both up. I don't know. Be doable. I'm gonna okay. be racist and check on my fellow cat. When um as the, as he goes over as he's walking as Chance is walking towards him, I uh I'll just yell out. Um uh, be careful. Don't forget oh, the last guy. Yeah, you're right. Uh I immediately get on guard a little bit more than I was. I was just gonna go walk up right next to him and expose myself and let him stab me in the stomach again. <laughs> 
No, no, let him, you know, <laughs> let him, let him, let him stab you. <laughs> um, as I approach Fizzle, I search him for weaponry, you know, visually. Uh, all of the prisoners, their hands are way above their heads. There's a chain with a loop ten feet high, and they're each chained to their maximum height. Do any of the prisoners look noticeably worse in condition than any of the others? Besides the Arakoker that's being carved open. Ah, uh, yes, the Koatoa. That was carved. The Koatoa looks like he's nearly dead of exhaustion and dehydration. Yes, but he's a Koatoa. Anyone humanoid? That's horrible. <laughs> Wait, is Koatoka even al still alive? He's still alive, yeah. He's just very thirsty. You can see his skin's dried out. Okay. Aww. We tend to the wounded while keep, we need to keep an eye. We need to check Fizzle and and see what's going on. Does he know anything about what happened to Tom? Oh, I have a thing for this. Let me let me pull that up. Uh oh. Uh, asked about the place, he says, yes, they convert people somehow. They they let them go, and they come out different than they, when they went in. They got new souls. The oddest thing that I've seen, however, worse than that, is that Aarakocra. She was still alive while they were cutting her. She kept talking oh. for two days. They operated on her in shifts. Oh. Anyone got eyes of the grave? So, is it, how, what? I was asking if anyone can see undead. No, sorry. Ah oh, man. Uh. <laughs> I send. I'm not entirely certain what to do here. I send a message to the the I forget how you pronounce it the the thing on the ground that was cut open. I m mentally say, "Are you okay?" You can't reply to this message. I think we're good. Aracocra. Aracocra. Oh, sorry, my mic was up. I was talking that whole time. Uh -huh. I didn't... Yeah, we didn't so, hear you. Um, what was the last thing you heard, you say, heard me say? Nothing. I did uh, my speech? Operated, operated oh, okay. in shifts. Okay, that was the last thing I said, so never mind. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I just noticed my mic was up. Um, Like I said, he's forward with you, and... Uh, is that a spell, or are you mentally telepathing with its dead body, or what? How are you talking to this? I was, I'm, I was mentally like telepathically doing it to see if it was undead and if it would do anything. Uh, you, your mental communication does not get a reply from the body. However, you do get a sense of warmth from it. Still do not like this. <sighs> so what do you want to do? Who are you talking to? What are we doing? I will reopen communications with Fizzle and I will try to see if he has undergone the same kind of transformation. I also um, I asked him um, <clears throat> if he knew what happened to Tom. I'm going to see if any uh, anyone else is conscious or still alive. Yeah. Uh, Fizzle says, Tom went out differently. He was no longer the person I knew. I don't know what they do, but they're doing ah. something to people. They catch people. We we were here because of a missing persons report. 
who went missing. Several people, but the odd thing is they usually turn up again after about a week. Were any of them found here? Uh, we didn't get further than this room, so yes, Jeez. technically these people were missing. The people to my left and right. Well, I tell them the bad news about Tom and about uh, bu 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 I thought we knocked Tom out. The other Tabaxi. Yeah, we did, but he's still out there. Alrighty. I don't think I we didn't bring him with him. Bring him with us. But Is he it did light in. Go ahead. Was it the per other person that was with us? Uh, Tom was the guy that stabbed me with his rapier, and Leonid then the other got turned to stone. Yeah, Leonid is now a statue. He was he was a and, member of the party. Yeah, so I'm going to tell Fizzle about those two particularly uh, interesting things, and wonder if he knows where the two nobles are, or is he one of the nobles, and where the other two adventurers are? He says, "I am one of the nobles." Uh, yeah. Hold on, <laughs> I forgot the name. Do no bear. Lady Bismarck is somewhere deeper in the in the rooms. She's the other noble. Okay. So you didn't uh, get any further than this, but you know she's in one of the other rooms? They separate the humans. Yeah. Crazy. I see. I know she went through that door back there. Well... We can get all of you prisoners out, at least to the cave entrance, and then we can go look. That would be. Are the fun. other people alive? Uh, the other people chained up are alive, that you can see. They're just in need okay. of help. They have several levels of exhaustion. They've been chained here with no food or water. Um, I'd do be you guys want water? Yeah. Do you guys want me to release them? Um. um... <laughs> I'm kind of split on that right now. Surge, then release. I will carry them out. Are they uh, chained up, right? They're chained up. These, can people, I, these people are chained up. Yeah. If yeah. if Can I shoot the chain to break it? Uh, yeah, I think that could be done without a check. And will that hurt will that, will that hurt them or not? No, it won't. Well, the chain. The, the, then I'll shoot the chains. Yeah, it's an inanimate object. You can just point your finger right up to it and boom. Oh yeah, that's what I do. Uh, they're all released if you want to release them all. I will release them all. Everyone be on guard. Uh, they're very thankful. They do not act in any way suspicious. Alright. I would like to um, search this cultus over here. Um, specifically looking at that net of stones, the stones rocks. that he threw. Yeah. Shock rocks. Anyway. Yeah, he, he's on guy. top of the other guy, because I kind of ragdolled his ass on yeah. top of him. But yeah. Oh, yeah, he was over here. Just, just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, while oh, yeah. they're doing that, I'll start picking people up, walking them out one by one. Okay. Uh, the stones don't seem like they could be set off easily. Uh, the one went off because of an impact. He hit you. He hit somebody with it, or tried to hit somebody with it. It hit the ground and went off. But there's uh, four of them in the bag. He threw one. Yeah. Nice. Anything on the guy I got? A uh, scimitar, and he's wearing a nice set of leather armor under his robes. Studded. Yep. That's medium armor, right? I think it's light. Let me check. Studded leather is medium. Thank you. It's medium. <laughs> Anyone with this cultist armor, I can't wear it. Oh, no. Studded leather is light. I'm sorry. Oh. Yes. It looks... Is it... Extra it's nice. 12 plus your dex mod. 12. Yeah, I was working on my small thing, but I used studded leather. I could have told you it was light. Uh, oh. and I will take that armor. Is anyone wounded? Do you want to take a short rest? Uh, does this count as a short rest since you're walking around for five minutes? Uh, no, because we're technically doing investigation and stuff. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm going to climb up to the top rope. Okay. You can get up there. Either. Yeah, I, ta- I take the items from the guy. Alrighty. They clean them up and then slit their throats. They're cultists. <laughs> is, is there any they might have information. Are... Oh, right. <laughs> he says as the blood trickles <laughs> down his blade. <laughs> <laughs> Chance, I know you're upset, but you don't have to just murder people. It's okay. I was already climbing up, not killing anybody. No one's dead over here. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Halfway through session one, the murder hobos appear. Uh, murder I knew that's what this game was. Is there anywhere within the field inside the cave for me to dig a hole? Or is it all just, like, solid? Or- uh, there is. There's rock in in here, but if you were to go back out in the opening, you could dig a hole. All right, then uh, yeah. Grinwall ends up working on that and then drags the bird out and buries it. All right. Oh, snap. That's going to take a while. Uh, he, he doesn't care. He's letting them do their own. Grinwall, I got a warm sensation from that bird when I was trying to send it a message, so... I have a question, a stipulation. Uh, Do you take it out past the Veil of Black Rainbow? No, that, that's what I was asking. Is there anywhere in here? Uh, if you're trying to like dig a hole, it's not very deep. You would have to go out past it. If I tried and I couldn't do it, then I just gave up because he's scared of going back through the wall. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice. Good job. Which is why everybody's sitting at the door, not outside with the yeah. statue. Alrighty, well, you can't uh, dig a very deep hole unless you go out, so that's going to be that. Is there anything else you guys think we should do? Not right off hand. Well, if we right, check we do something about the bird. Yes, yeah, so if we want to perform some kind of funeral rites. But other than that, as long as we've checked on the prisoners and made sure everyone's okay, and we have the uh, the cultists we've tied up somewhere where we can see them, then I think the only uh, thing left to do is to press on. I like it. Let's move on. Is the door in this room on the bottom floor or the top floor? Bottom floor. That's the uh, dotted lines indicating the corridor that's under the top floor. Alrighty. Next door. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll check the door for uh, traps and locks. Do you need help? Uh, I didn't see anything. Here, let me let me show you how it's done. By all means. This door does not be, appear to be trapped or locked. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's go in. Uh, do we hear anything on the other side of this door like we did on the previous door? Uh, there is some faint rustling, some moving around, but it doesn't sound close. So there's nothing in in the immediate vicinity that's dangerous. Okay, and it's another double door, yes? Yes. Okay, you pull open one side, I'll pull open the other. We'll do it nice and slowly, nice and quiet. Do you want to try to do this stealthily? Uh, there's just no reason to bash through this one like we did to the previous one. Okay. And with that, we'll just uh, gently open the doors up. Let's see what's in here. Another hallway. Across the intersection. I want to try to peek around this corner. Is there any lighting in this corner? Uh, there are torches. I can't press the thing. There are torches in the north and southern corridors on the walls. 
Alrighty. Katash. You're close enough to peek around. And see these little lines I've drawn on the walls here? Those are signs. Uh, this one says women, and this one says men. Uh, both of the doors to the north and south have large uh, padlock locks on them. They're locked and chained. And right here, which I didn't draw, on that corner is a table with a key ring and some sort of rod. Okay, I will check out the... I'll get the keys and check out the rod. Does it look like a sun rod? Uh, no, it's a steel, metallic-looking rod. It's about a foot and a half long, and there's a hole all the way through it on one end that a uh, smaller metal clanger thing like they have in bells is on. Does that make sense? It, does it look like it make noise? Yes. Do you guys think this is like some kind of warning signal? Can't be certain yet. I will slowly slide it into the haversack. Okay. So not to make a noise. Just in case we need it for some reason. Does anyone have thieves tools? <laughs> yes. Uh, you want to try to unlock this this lock? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's take a look at the south door. Okay. You uh, said this, you said this is the women or men's? The men's, men's. right? Uh, actually, now that you're in front of the door, you can see that there's a covered by a cloth uh, opening in the top center of it. Like a prison bar. To look inside? The door would be, yes. It's just covered All by right, a cloth. Let's look, in, let's look inside. Uh, okay. It's Do we dim... need a roll to look inside? Nope. It's dimly, unless you want to. It's dimly lit. I need something to put on it. And in this one you can see chained just like the others. The human adventure Bayard. Bayard? Yeah, I see Bayard. And there's our humans he's chained next to. Human males all. That is a very big room. Yep. So we can see him, but we can't open the door. We need to get in there. Or wait, that's an adventure, I would assume. Was the noble a woman? Does anyone remember? Lady Biz. Business. Business. Sounds like a lady to me. We should check on her first. The north door is similar. It's got a padlock and a cloth covering. I'm climbing up there to take a look. Uh, let me get the reveal tool out again. As you <coughs> go through the door... Get him, my name. You see female humans chained up and Lady Bismarck among them. The door is still well, open. I'm no will, sexist, but if we have to save an adventurer or a noble, I would save the noble first. Okay, I will do the help action so you can get advantage. If it's allowed. You have time. What is it, a pick a lock? Slide a hand? No, it's a uh, uh, dexterity roll. It, and if oh, you're really? proficient with thief tools, you get your proficiency bonus. Uh, okay. If you're proficient with thief tools, you get a proficiency bonus. I believe I said dexterity bonus. That's enough to pop a lock. All right. 
uh, green, uh, green. Why can I never you know, green wall, green wall, green whale, green whale, green. Gren wall. Is it wall or whale? Gren wall. <laughs> God, I'm terrible with names. Uh, since you're waiting orders, let's go over here and secure this noble. He clumbers through loud as shit. Okay, watch out. There might be people hidden in here. There are lights in each of these prisoner rooms. There are torches along all the walls. Oh, right. so we can see every wall? Well, right. once we get in there. If you get in there, yeah. I'm going to pop that door open, but then I'm going to kind of hang on to the wall while the more formidable frontliners pass me. Okay, here's the thing about that. Uh-oh. As you enter the room, there's a similar sloped 20-foot tall recess in the eastern wall. There are two people in, in cloaks, each holding a heavy crossbow. They do not see you yet. But they will if you go into the room. You can see that upon opening the door. Can you see Chan? Huh. Well, gentlemen, we have archers on an elevated platform on the far side of the room. Can I, am I, from the angle, can I see w one of them? Yes, Katash, you can see the northern one. Actually, from that corner, you should be able to see both of them. Do you want me to shoot since I can range? Well, they might not know that their friends are uh, in so much danger. They could have some kind of kill the hostages dead man switch. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I, th I think that's, that's what the thing I picked up where... was for. Where's the door upstairs, then? We go kill them before they kill hostages, yes? Maybe over here? That's a good idea. Sneak around and see if we can get behind him. Quick question. This is kind of like in the in the operation of things, and as, as we're planning, we're going to go through this next door, correct? Katash, the one Katash just left? Um, I'm thinking that might be our best option, because if we go out there, they could just shoot us. I mean... Give me perception. Uh, it really depends on... What are we perceiving? Is everyone perceiving? Yes. I accidentally had advantage on. I realized I was too obvious this time, and I'll try to be less obvious. But Chance finds a secret door. You were so obvious that you didn't even tell us. I just asked for perception checks very, very boldly. Boldly! Oh, Keelan sees it better. There you it's go. Uh, some loose stones, and they've they've been put up to make it look like the wall is uh, firm, but they could be easily picked up, picked apart. It wouldn't be quiet, however, unless you're like super quiet with them. I don't know. The three-hour secret door opening. Exactly. Yes. Well, I don't think we should mess with a secret door that's going to take a long time to open while we've got cultists holding hostages. I'm going to take a look at this door with perception and see if I can notice any traps or locks. That's a performance. That's a performance. <laughs> Equally good. You're seeing the lock open. <laughs> He's standing in front of the door, da, 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 da. Chance! Not trapped or locked, from what you can it's tell. Low. 
So it the was, secret door that you were talking about, is it like a secret wall, or is it like a door? Uh, it's like a door step hole in the wall. Okay. Um, with, with stones covering it. Has anybody looked to see if there was a mechanism to open it? I mean... Uh, it doesn't appear to be one. It's just like totally this hole in the wall that someone just put stones up against. The floor doesn't <laughs> seem to be... The floor doesn't seem to be a lever or anything. Okay. I have uh, these I... keys. I forgot about them. You do have keys. <laughs> you got jingle keys? Well, I'm trying not to jingle, but I, I, I just remembered I had these keys that probably opened that door you picked. It's a... Maybe. It's a key ring with seven rusty keys on it, all of different shapes and sizes. I did not even know you had that. Well, anyway, this door doesn't need it. I'm going to open it slowly. <laughs> er? And seductively. <laughs> you can see to about there. It's another 20-foot slope. It goes up. That's why the wall's curved like that. Hmm. Still well lit. There is there are light sources above you. Towards where this goes. I progress as sneakily as I can. I'm gonna put the that light stick we have in the haversack as well. Just okay. just so they don't see us. Uh you notice a couple different things when you get up this high. One, there's a door in front of you. Two, you can see around the corner. That does connect. Three, you can see to the right. Give me a perception check. You can see to the right, and it has something written on another sign. I that's, I that's want to... See. I want to move over to that corner and try to perceive around the corner to see if there's more guards on, the, on that side. Okay. As we shuffle by each other, I relay this information to the team. You gonna give me a perception? Okay, there we go. Guess what? There's a lot more down here. Guard I, I telepathically tell each of them individually that there's guards down here. Your perception is so high that you know these guys look tough. You would not want them to group up against you. I'm, uh, I'm telepathically, I'm saying maybe we should split into group, groups of two. Well, you can come on back down. We can discuss this. Okay. As long as you don't slip down the... So we got big, beefy guys below us, or to the south of us. We've got wimpy crossbow users to the north of us. The guys had oh, yeah. identical crossbows. And crossbow bolts do hurt, though. So does my electric bite house. We could throw the light stick in the door to distract one, and then go up and attack. Yeah, but I'm afraid they're going to start attacking people. Um, if you guys go to the corner um, up here, ready to attack the archers, I can do the light plan down on the bottom, because I can very quickly climb up to join you. I don't want to specifically put ideas in your head, but... Uh, Fizzle, as he was talking, tells you how effective those stones stones are when they hit. It's pretty much a one-hit KO. Oh, snap. How many of those stones did we pick up? Four. And who has them? Has them. Keelan? Yeah, I believe Keelan has them. Then they're in good hands. Yes. Are, the... they, a, are they a strength check to throw or a dexterity check to throw? Uh, it's throwing, so either. Oh, right. Is Keelan a monk? They're light enough to be finessed, so they count as either. Yes, I'm a monk. Are you prof you're proficient throwing, right? Frank Jack? Yeah, I use... 
dexterity check. It's an ability check. Yeah. Not what are we be, trying to do, though? I don't know if he can be proficient in throwing stones. Mm. Is it an imp improvised weapon? Yeah, but you're not proficient with an improvised weapon. Oh, uh, okay. I thought monks were. No. So we. Uh... Well, I can I I can shoot the crossbow guys. Yeah, we can just charge the crossbow guys, and then whatever the big guys do, we can just try and contain them. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that could work. Unless they start heading to the the people. Uh, well... I don't know what their priorities are, saving themselves or killing right. hostages. We do this Spetsnaz style. Everyone gets a Thunderstone. We all pop out at the same time and we throw them at each target. Rock rocks. Okay. I want to evolve my Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> who but who would want to write you? If you did it professionally, you'd be Shock Rock Jocks. So how long was that set up for, huh? Literally just thought of it. Oh, and then and, it's then it's and, funny. And I'm brilliant. True. <laughs> really. Okay, let's do this. I think. Stealth checks, initiative checks, and let's just see how it goes. That sounds like a These good order. These cultists seem like pretty bad news to me. You have disadvantage, so roll it again. Could always be worse. Five it is. <laughs> Katash didn't want to make Grinwall feel bad. <laughs> and with that, roll initiative. And then we'll go in that order. Yeah, I did it. Woo! They're toes surprised, right? They're not even looking that way, so they could be surprised. Neither of them is checking on each other. Uh, are we all set up? Are you ready to pop out? Oh, good. It knows automatically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe we're ready to go. Well, Keelan goes first. Wait, Keelan <clears throat> Chance, who has a higher dex? I thought it, it sorted him first. He can go first. I have a 17 dex. Um, What's that? Well, and they have crossbow bolts, right? They have crossbows? The north two have heavy crossbows. Mm. Let me tell you what the other two have. I believe they have clubs. It just says melee weapon attack with bludgeoning damage. So they have clubs. Mm. Or maces. Hmm. Well, we didn't plan this very well. <laughs> At least from a movement mean? standpoint. <laughs> we planned this super well. We're going to throw the rocks, and then if they don't kill them instantly, we go up and attack. Yeah, how far is the... What's the range on those rocks? 20 to 60. Uh, I believe it's uh, 20 40. So 40 is maximum range, and you have disadvantage past 20. <laughs> mm. um, I'll be glad to give the rocks to other people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh... 
you should know about these electricity. You didn't see them in action, but you could discern. They give the stunned condition, which only lasts for a few rounds. Uh, yeah. Stunned pretty much knocks you the heck out. Um. Okay, so I can move to here, and I'll try to toss one at this one. Disadvantage. Hit. So an 18 or 12. That's not disadvantage, is it? Yep, it's 30 feet. If it's past 20, it is. 12 still oh. hits. So okay. you, you, you lucked out. Okay. Let me make sure. Yeah, it still hits. Alright. Um, so what happens is he yells and falls down. Uh. He is still conscious of his surroundings, and it does alert everyone else. Charge. Okay. Well, that's a problem for Chance to solve. You're up next. Just give him a chance. <laughs> now, you haven't moved uh, uh, when you were searching that first room of the tables, so I'd say your cat thing came back. You can move double your speed. That thing comes back, like, instantaneously. If you move for zero squares for a turn. Like, instantaneously. <laughs> Six seconds. <laughs> hey, do you like magic spells? Yeah. I I like magic. Why did my eraser stay up there? Or my line stay up there? There it goes. 60 feet. Woo, 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 woo. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Okay, what's that do? Each object in a 20-foot cube uh, within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet. I'm going to say blue light. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, a 20-foot cube is a 4x4 four four square, and I'm centering it on the 60-foot where my arrow ends, so it encompasses okay. both of these it's guys enough. and potentially, potentially others in the area. Um, I need to roll the save DC, which is 11 plus a D4. So the save DC is 15. Dex save or con save? It is a dexterity save. Save plus zero to that. Well, I hope they both fail. that help you? Uh, sorry, I didn't see that you rolled. Uh, for the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radius, and after failing the saving throw, any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it. Okay. Uh, so anybody who attacks them has advantage. I'm going to be concentrating on this spell, and I'm going to use the rest of my movement to go to the left. Okay. Let me add a couple things, because there's things I forgot. Yay. Uh, the cultists from earlier all had double eyelids. Did I say that? Uh, you mentioned they had weird eyelids, but I don't recall exactly what you said. Uh, the cultists from earlier also shed motes of darkness like you do, you guys do. Uh, you'll notice as these Gross. guys are standing here, they do not shed those motes of darkness. Oh. It is comfortable for them to be here. Oh... Oh. So now they're glowing, and they have to run up to you to fight. Is that all you want to do, Chance? That's, what do you, you mean, have, is that all? I did a great do thing. A, do you have a miner for something? Um, who's after me? Katash. I inspire Katash with bardic inspiration. Okay. Hey, Katash, you're up. Sweet. Did you use a net for concentrating? Uh, yeah, because I don't know what else to use. Use one of the color dots. Uh, green works fantastically. Yeah. Uh, so... 
Uh, do I have to move a square to shoot that guy? Uh, you can shoot around the corner and have cover if you do it from there. Alright, and uh, still have advantage? Uh, yes, it's a sneak attack. So, yes. And they have fairy fire cover in them. You okay. hate her. After spy, yes. Uh, 12 hits. Uh, this would be advantage, so crit. Right? No, that's not crit. Yeah, 16, 16. sorry. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, they... A 20 hit. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, it'd be green if it was, yeah. Yep. Okay, right, never mind. Okay, right, hits. Okay, right, let's do some damage. Okay. Nine. Whoa. That is nearly max damage for now. He's hurt. A searing black ray of eldritch power shoots out of Katash's hands. By the power of Cthulhu. I feel so impotent now. Oh. <laughs> Greenwall's up. Uh, so both the heavy crossbow and the guy down the hall are with the mace are hurt, correct? Uh, the guy down the hall was hit with fairy fire and uh, an attack, not a stunning attack. But he was hit, yes. Was he not hit with Eldritch Blast right here? No, he was. You're right. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to step up and hit the crossbow with told with what? Yeah. Told the dead. Oh, okay. Told the dead. Cool. He makes a wisdom save against my spell DC. He has I don't know why it's rolling that as an attack. It's a zero wisdom score, so yeah, I think he fails. Whoops. Yeah. What was the DC? Oh, okay, fifteen. Uh, he takes, uh... Was this the crossbow to the north? Who were you tar targeting? Yeah. Sorry. The nearest crossbow to the north. Uh, do you um, target the other one? Because he's it... unconscious. Or stunned. I mean, it can. That, that's fun. It just Whoops. does more damage for somebody that's not full life. Well, they're both at full health. Did the pop rock not do damage? No, it doesn't. It stuns them. Oh, well, fuck me. Then I'd have hit the guy to the south. Uh, the guy. That... Okay. And it rolled the wrong damage for that, and I need okay. to fix that entirely. So. Well, I'm gonna keep the save. He still failed. Recalculating. Damage is worse, but <laughs> whatever. Okay. It accidentally rerolled that, I'm sorry. That's fine. But yeah, he takes three damage. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to do? I do not. I don't know what else you could do, but if you have ideas, it's great. Let me add them to the initiative order now that their surprise round's over. Chance, you're up. Sorry, Keelan's up. It reordered you guys again. But Keelan went first last time. Yeah, why would it switch? That's very strange. There, I did it again and it switched. Oh, snap. Go get him. Um. So, attack that one. Okay. Um, question for you. Um, is he still stunned? There's a funny thing um, about that. Uh, he's stunned, which gives the incapacitated edition condition. Mm -hmm. So these would be coup de gras attacks. You'll get a natural 20 on each roll, and it does maximum damage. Yep. <clears throat> So just tell me okay. your damage. Twice. <clears throat> 
max damage. Yep. Would be nine. Nine twice. Mm hmm. I'm he's just testing to see. Mm -hmm. Still alive though. He's, he's very hurt. No. And so another seven. Okay. Seven max from the unarmed. Okay. Mm -hmm. I added the nine twice. I thought you were doing two of those. No. No, uh, he's got a hand axe and then a monk unarmed strike. And yeah. the unarmed strike's only a D4. Okay. Yeah. So now that's now that reflects two hits. Sorry. And you this moved. is all good. Uh, so chance is up. Hello. Mommy. I activate my feline agility. Because I would like to move to about there. I was quoting a song, not calling you mommy. You can call me mommy. Did you say they were supposed to be natural 20s, though? Yeah. So they get Yeah, to, then it's double damage. Yeah, that's why I said natural no, in, in 5th edition, yeah. it's just max damage. No, you roll an extra dice. You roll oh, an extra Oh, yeah, damage. an extra one. But no extra yeah. modifiers. Right. Yeah. So do I roll that. damage? Do I, do I need to roll damage again? Uh, just give me your the extra dice. So it's just the right. dice from the first one, dice from the second one. What's the max for those? Some people just have you double the dice. Like, yeah. what you roll. <clears throat> so the dice themselves is a D, is, are a D4 each. Okay, so eight. I mean a D6 and a D4, I'm sorry. I told you wrong, sorry. That kills him. Mm -hmm. Now chance is up. Does this change anything for you? Hello? Uh, no, I'm still going to move into this position because we're killing the archers and those other boys I assume are going to charge. Yeah. Um, so I'm basically just going to shoot the other crossbow guy with my crossbow. Okay. Oh, that's a one. <laughs> the shot goes wild. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not going to impose anything terrible just this, just yet. Just a wait. Never let it not be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, that's all for me. Okay, Katashira. <laughs> I will do the same thing where I'm going to shoot that guy. The north guy or the south guy? Oh, the south same thing guy. again that you did last time. Okay. And still advantage, right? Uh, he hasn't acted yet, so yes. They have fairy fire. What's that? Doing? And he, he it just lights him up. That's all you said. No, it takes. They take advantage on every attack against them. Oh snap! Okay, I missed that part. I didn't. Know. I have concentration on this spell. If they hit me, I have to make a save to keep it going. But for the next minute or ten rounds, every attack against them has advantage. Cool. Cool beans. Yeah, I, ha I have a spell card. Let me put it in there. Hey, Katash, you're up. You gonna hit this guy with an advantage? Yeah. I was just thinking on what I was using. Fifteen hits. Oh, good rolls. For eight damage. Yep. I'm fixing some of my other spells as well. Okay. Uh, but also, uh, that's the end of my turn. Okay. I'm so I'm keeping an eye on him. Grenwall, you're up to go. Last before the thugs. One's badly hurt. One's dead. Two alive. Three alive. Uh, which one's the one that's badly hurt? The one up in the north? South. Nearest one to the south. Uh, okay. Then I'll use Toll the Dead on him again. Ready? Toll the Dead. I apparently can't make a spell cast card with the rolling modifier proficiency, proficiency dice, bonus. Yeah. It it does not like that syntax. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I thought I had that working. That's uh, what you need to do is 
Uh, let me find it real quick. Um, I'll put it in Discord. All right. I'm working on my Told the Dead as well. But yeah, he makes a uh, wisdom save of DC. Because it's my. Do you guys mind if I. Do you guys mind if I try my, my version of it? Go ahead. Okay. You got a two on the save. It takes 11 damage. Whoa. It kills him. I might run down. Get told. Okay, anything else, Grimwell? No, that's it. Okay. Thugs are up. After a very shocking surprise round, the guy to the south dashes into combat. He can only get that far. <laughs> And the other guy moves to attack Keelan with a club. He's not going to use his heavy crossbow. Oh, I can just click this? <laughs> sure can. Does the 13 hit? And you... Uh, I don't know if 13 hits, but I think you can also click no, attack again. No, no, 13. Okay. Oh, that's a mess. Sorry. And then Keelan's up. Click the damage for damage. Yeah. I... <clears throat> plant my hand axe in his chest. Nice. And... Ooh, boy. Both hits. Uppercut him. So, punch was critical. Five. Oh jeez! Oh, that was on the. Uh, like... That was on the. Uh, the other one. This is the only other one, so it's not a. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve damage total. My my mooks missed. Still mixed a heck up. of a lot of damage. He's at half. Uh, chance, you're up. Hello. Still concentrating. Yeah, still concentrating, and I don't want to get hit, so I'm going to keep to my crossbow. And I'm going to crossbow the uh, one that attacked Kaylin. 21. Hits. Nice. For five piercing damage. And I reload. And uh, I'm going to take a step to the south. No, I'm going to stay here so I get my feline agility back. That's my turn. Thank you very much. Okay. Katash, you're up. All right, is this guy that's come towards me, uh, damaged yet. Uh, no, he's at full health. Alright, I will electric blast the guy, the him. The guy that was hurt died. Yeah. And fairy fire still on him, right? It carries? Uh, yeah, or does it go away? With... He's still concentrating, so it still works. Yes, it'll last for the next seven it's rounds. It's only been two rounds. Three rounds for next eight. But... Next eight rounds. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it didn't just leave. And, so you, and you still have inspiration as well. Yeah. I think the 25 will hit. Woo! I uh, have one off from crit. <laughs> two for it. two. Well, that bolt didn't look as strong as your previous one. I, uh... Uh, you getting a little tired? 
Um, how do you do the whole? Is it this one? How do you do the distances? The air, the uh, ruler to your left. I don't actually know where it is. It's the fourth icon in the little box on the left corner. Oh. It's the fifth one for me. Well, oh, you're the DM. Thank you. Can you, repeat, can you repeat that? Oh, no snag or... I'm sorry, what? What's that or... Yeah, there you go. So we're 38. Uh, no. Uh, you're snapping to corner. For movement, you probably want to use snap to center. Worst case, count the squares. Yeah, well, it's easier to read them. <laughs> Scratching at my door. Okay, I'll move here. Okay. And that'll end my turn. Okay. Grinwall is up. I'm gonna use Toll the Dead on the guy running up the hall. Okay. He's a little hurt. D12. Well, if he fails to save, he takes three damage. Okay. Oh, no, he makes that one. <laughs> Do you want to move? This guy's coming at you with a uh, mace. Yeah, I'll move to intercept him so he doesn't okay. deal with the rest. Smart. Oh, thank you so much. And with that, the thugs are up. Thug let's, life. Let's try to mace attack Grinwall. Where's that more like me, More like miss attack, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> hey! I have an AC of 20. It doesn't miss. Miss. Jesus. Uh, the other one is going to mace Keelan. I closed the thing, of course. What? What'd you do? It didn't roll again. Uh, I see an attack for nine. Yep. Me too. Okay. Oh, okay. But the first time, I think that's for damage? No, it's an attack. Um, yeah, if you yeah, click just... attack, it should roll damage. Oh, again. I missed both times, didn't I? 9 and 11. Yeah. 11 and 9. Right. Never forget, boys. Okay, well, that's their turn. Keelan, you're up. Maybe they should run away. Oh, maybe we should <laughs> run away. Why would we I run away? Know. I don't know. This cult's really good at killing people that are, like, defenseless. <laughs> I guess for a minute I couldn't click on my token. Um, 16 hits. Still nine. up? No. Mm. Jeez, he's beefy. Or was beefy. Okay. 
Hey, Greenwall. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry Keelan. Uh, can I get a perception check from you while you're here? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, that sign says children. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I am totally going to go murder those people we have tied up. Uh, Keelan, is there anything else you wanted to do? Move, perhaps? Yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll move. Yeah, I'll move to right there. I know, can the cat squeeze through? I can, but I'm not even going to. Chances up, I mean. You can move through friend friendly squares, easily. I move to there, and I say, uh, is this seriously the best you can do? Where's your mockery? DC 14. Nah. Nothing happens to him since it was only one damage. Uh, you had advantage. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. You're still concentrating. Yeah, there's no attack roll here. Uh, Katash, you're up. How'd you play us? With advantage. Yep. Twenty four hits. All the damage. Nice. He's very hurt. Uh Grenwall, you're up. Can you kill him? Surrend surrender. Uh yeah, I'm gonna hit him with the mace and try to knock him out again. Going in for the assist. I am a miss. ten <laughs> is a miss. Yeah. Oh no. You have Third, advantage. In my turn. Oh, he does have advantage. Oh yeah. Cause... Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh that hurt. I'm pissed off about the kids. We're, we're <laughs> right. Not talk about it. I'm sad. Tra- I I feel your pain. All right, on his turn, this last thug, he's the last of his kind. Kills himself. Jeez. He draws from the dark energy in the room. Uh Uh-oh. He's going to make two attacks. Against himself. Against Grenwall, who has a 20, so this may not be as smart as I thought it was. (laughs) Oh! Oh! Like that crit will do. Ten damage. I'm unconscious. Who's laughing now? <laughs> uh, this you're is some not darkest dungeon not, stuff. Do you make uh, death saving throws on unconscious, or are you just unconscious? You make death saving throws on unconscious. Next turn, death. Okay. Comes make, round them up. You'll make one on your turn. Keelan, yeah. you're up. Wait, um, was that? Go ahead. I'm sorry, was that attack, JP, was your attack advantage or disadvantage? It was two separate attacks. Oh, okay. Because you rolled the damage for the non-crit, kind of. Uh, that appears to be true. It rolled yeah, two dice. It make it, it's, the same, it's the same type of attack, so... It has to be the crit, it rolled two dice. Oh. Sorry. Oh. I okay. I, I thought that was a modifier. I thought it was a modifier. I don't know. Oh, it just looks like I guess it just looks that way in the window. He clicked the top one, but it just popped yeah. in at the bottom. Uh yeah, oh. he did it. Hey guys, guys, guys. He he did plenty of damage. I think it's great. Great attack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was Yeah. Yeah. I never mind, sorry. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to, um, seeing uh, my comrade fall, I'm going to rush forward. Um, 25, trying to get his attention as I go between his legs. Okay. Right? 
And I'm going to hit him with the hand axe. Uh, still no, advantage, so 19 hits. It's advantage? Oh, yeah. yeah he's still got fire. Very fire. Okay. fire. And I will finish it off with a kidney blow. Oh, jeez. That's exactly enough to knock him to zero. And it does hit. Dead or knocked out? Uh, did you want to kill him or knock him out? Um, kill him. I'm not in the... <laughs> not in the presentation business. <laughs> <laughs> did, did I mention that was a biz? Potion of healing. 2d4 plus 2. Is it just 2? Yep. yep. Uh, then uh, 6, not 8. Yep, 2 d Oh man, before I give him the potion, I stand over his buddy and cast message. <laughs> okay. Uh, I whisper to him that uh, he's got to get up because you've got to save those children. And then I administer the potion. Okay, nice. It's called, uh, I believe, mental abuse. Uh, I'm going to give Greenwell inspiration. I'm, I'm going to go... Seeing if these people are okay. Um, that's the women's prison. They're all exhausted like the Kotoa was. They're grasping for life. Okay, I'm going to start releasing them and trying to help them as best I can. Okay. What else are we doing? Greenwald's back. He's not all the way full, but he's back. You take a short rest. No short rest. We check on those kids first. I was about to say, Greenwall immediately, like, straight up and through the door. Uh, I tell these people that are, the people are, some people are still waiting outside because everyone's being rescued. Mm -hmm. So just to stay with them. I'm assuming you're chugging down this hallway. I go back to the party. Would that be correct? As fast Greenwald? as he can go, yeah. Uh, you're stopped when the walls turn from a stone to a wallpapered flower design. And there's a woman at a receptionist desk who stops you, or tries to stop you. And says, no, 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 he's in a meeting, he's in a meeting. And says, may I help you? You have to <laughs> give me the kids now. Uh, we currently only have one child, and she's, uh channeling the dark arts. Can I leave a message? <laughs> he just looks over his shoulder at everybody in the hallway. Or whoever's in the hallway. What do you guys <laughs> Like, waiting for confirmation. Does anyone know the townspeople very well? Have you uh, lived as there far as I know, time? we all just recently arrived in Homestead. Okay. That's one of the things that bonded us. I just made that up if anybody <laughs> wants to. Who are you again? <coughs> uh, as she's talking, she blinks and she has double eyelids. Ugh. Mm -hmm. At that, um, Keelan jumps up on the desk and says, I've had enough of this. Oh, yeah. I, I want to go past. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> no. Where is the kid? Uh, yeah. I'll go to the side. What is this place? Uh, she says she's a uh, a probably middle aged to youngish woman wearing what looks like uh, you're a four eyed freak. Now answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says Star Captain Colum will not be taking any visitors today. Would you please escort? I don't give a out? shit. No. Star Captain. Uh, Star Captain. I've sailed all over the place. I've never heard Colum. of such shit. Uh, could you please spell that? C O E L U M. 
star, Captain. Thank you. Got prisoners chained up on the wall. Uh, at that comment, she'll blink her double eyes and look up at you and say, uh, well, yes, we do. Would you like to join them? And she pulls out a dagger. Whoa there. Um. This would be non non-combat fighting. Narrative fighting. She is no threat. <laughs> well, to it's fixing to be combat because I'm going to plant my axe in her head. <laughs> <laughs> I got my dagger out too, but like, you really want to do this? Uh, she goes, Look, I'll leave if you let me leave. I don't think you need to leave. I mean, I hate to fall into the stereotype of just killing everyone we see, but I mean, come <laughs> on. I mean, we don't have to kill her. We can just, you know, knock her out and tie her up like the hey, others. Can I just walk over and just, like, pick her up by the scruff of her fucking coat and hold her there? Uh, yeah, she looks menacing, but she is a pushover. She is very scrawny, very weak, not very, uh, she's very malnourished. Well, let's test our people, people skills. I, I ask her directly, what are you to this organization, and, and what is this organization? Uh, she starts to recite, let me pull this up. I wouldn't go into to reciting things, you're being held by your caller. Well, she he's says, talking to her killer. Go ahead. <laughs> he's talking to her killer. She starts to say, there are forces at work here that you cannot understand. Mm. Just give us a chance. Well, if you must know, we will bring heaven down into Elorion via the Black Rainbow. Mm. It'll be peace on Earth. Everyone says. After you cut everybody up, or <laughs> everyone can join us as long as you're human. So none of you are going to be in. So just leave. <laughs> Racist. I'm half human. Hmm. Did she ask to leave again? Yeah. I have no problem with you leaving. Leave two of your eyes here. <laughs> I have a problem with them leaving. No need to kill. She is. Give us kids. It it it's fine. I still think we're. Gonna, I still say we tie her up. Tie her up okay. and what? Leave her to die. No, we take her back and have a trial. Justice. That that's a good idea. I'm standing over with my axe. Like, uh, <laughs> Katash, you, know, really you moved remember. ahead. You moved ahead as this was going on, Katash. Yeah, I wanted to try to take a peek. And I hit. You see pews and a woman, Star Captain Colum, you assume, standing in front of a child. And this line here to the right is a dark vortex. It's purplish and blue, and it spins like a black hole. Another portal. I relay this information to uh, everyone besides Greenwall. Oh, that's very and kind this, of you. This Greenwall. woman is wearing a blue suit. She has um, those gold officer's shoulder pads with a gold-lined rope coming down to her Appellets. chest. Epaulets. Epaulets, thank you. She has a number of multicolored medals on her right side of her chest. And she says, I see you there. Can uh, can Killian uh, kill this woman now? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's not even a thing. I, I Let's s- do it. Okay. <laughs> Killian, once, she, once someone tells me that there's more people in there, I plant my axe right between her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> she, said, she said she saw me. And uh, jump off the... <laughs> yeah, the woman is talking to you. Katash. Uh, well, I've come to hear about the great news about the the, the Shadow Rainbow. Uh, Star Captain says, you can't stop us. I've already imbued this child with the essence of the Ether. She will one day become the perfect weapon. In, in view of the powers of light, because you got cut off. Uh, yeah, I've imbued this, pa- this child with the Ethereal Essence. 
and she will one day become a perfect warrior. You know people go to jail for that, right? And she looks at you and says, you know what else people do? And she steps backward through the portal. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dang, snap! Oh, snap. Hey, what's going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> and you're left, you're left with pews like a church, and this child, maybe, maybe 14, maybe 15, a young girl, very pale, malnourished like everyone else, and she's just staring into the void. Hmm. Killian walks cut. up covered in blood, right? <laughs> yeah. Wipes his axe <laughs> off on his pants, right? Yeah. Hmm. Who is this right here? This is Katesh. Yeah. Katesh. Well, whoever's near me, I just kind of turn and says, probably should kill her now. We don't need to kill everybody. Chance checks her eyelids. She does not have double eyelids that you can tell. Still a child. Look, look. Come on, you can see it. She's not one of them. Not yet. Hello, uh, can you understand me? I say to her. She briefly looks over you and then glances back at the portal like it's some sort of television. Mm. I mean, it's hard to say there's not something wrong with her, but... Ugh. Has it done anything wrong yet that we can tell? Uh, no, she looks... Other than the malnourishment, she looks like a normal child. What are you doing, What did he do to you, chick? What did he do to your child? She is staring completely at this portal. Hmm. Can we try to move her? You can try, yes. Grunwall. Yes? Can you come grab this child for us? He sombers down and picks the child up. Now, when you come across, there's one of those portals, but we're not going to go into it, okay? Okay. No portal. Okay. Got it. Let's see if she can move. Uh, I, w- I want to point out he is of average intelligence and not slow. He just talks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I can't as, help but love him. As soon as her eyeline is broken from the portal, she's pretty much back to normal. She starts saying, where's my parents? Where's my? She says it like a kid, but I'm not going to do that. Who are your parents? Who are they? Uh, Trisha and Malfoy. We haven't found them yet, but we're still looking throughout the base. He sets her up on her shoulder and just gives her very light pat on the head with the plate gone. Yeah. JP, okay. no, let's find them. None of the the women that I freed said anything about a daughter, right? Uh, none of the women were coherent, really. Okay. Not enough to question. Okay. Um, I tell her I'm going to take her to the other people we've already rescued and see if any of them are her parents. Okay. Uh, as you bring her along, if you go to the group of people that you freed, you did not free the men yet, although they're unguarded. Yeah, uh, but the, yeah one I was going to do that on the way out. One of the women will pipe up and claim her and say, oh my god, thank you. What's yeah, I was going to I was gonna free the guys <laughs> on my way, because I probably had the keys to open. Yeah. I hate to be cynical, but we are dealing with a murder cult here. Ask the mother what her name is. She'll say her name. It's Trisha. Uh, okay, just making sure. Hmm. Well, let's go make sure the boys are all right. I pull, I pull a couple of the parties out. I said, "You heard what he said." Yeah. You're not just gonna give her back to her mom without any discussion with the nobles or the elders. Well, we can talk about it, but what should we do? Chain them all up? They were uh, already just, chained up. Wouldn't be much of a change. Just feed them. We'll just have to keep an eye on them. We'll tell everyone that we can and everything that we know. Well, I'm more worried about the little girl who someone said they're planning on bringing 
their definition of race, right? Hmm. Well then, she stays with us. And he said it was too late to stop, right? It was a girl. Was it a female or was the captain a female? No, the captain or a was a female, yes. Yeah. Hmm. She said it was too late to stop, and last time I checked, nobody was trying to stop anything good. <laughs> I mean, I can't Some help but agree with you. I don't know what we should do next, but I know what we should do now, and it's help these prisoners. I agree. Mm. I just don't think we let the little girl go. We can take her mom and her wherever we need to, but... I agree with you. Let's keep them together. Let's uh, let's return them together. Let's make sure that we keep our eyes on them. And, yeah. and we need to find someone who might know something about this cult. I feel like whatever is inside them will trigger if they try to leave that field. Uh, that's As you're standing there talking, well. you can see the portal kind of shimmer into being every now and then, and you can see what's beyond it. Uh... F that. I was checking on the dudes. I thought we were walking and talking. Well, you're all still in the room, so I was like, well... The minis, uh, are, minis are still in the room. Okay, I'm moving my mini. I thought we were walking and talking. We were walking and talking. We didn't see the portal shimmer. Alrighty. We were going to check it. We, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we returned the girl to her mom already. We weren't here. Okay. So basically, we uh, were kind of we were kind of doing it with hand waves. We mm -hmm. went up, took the girl to the, to the women, and we're going to crawl all the women somewhere, and then we got to go check on them. We yeah. tell him to well, stay here well, for now. We're trying to save everybody. Yeah. I said on my way to the the people that were already rescued, I was going to go get the guys out because I probably hit the keys. Yeah. There you go. Well, I, well, don't do that on your own because there could be hidden attackers. Okay. Well, well let me at least try the door. JP it, is one of the keys working on this door. Uh yes. Yeah, we're basically all gathered up here. Oh, here. Let's check over the. I go to the high spot and see if there's anyone there. I can be sneaky if I have to. There are no guards. Yeah, okay, good. Out of blast, out of blast, out of blast. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, they answer you. meekly, saying hello back. In a weird, creepy way, or a normal, get us out of here way? Get us out of here Check way. Check the eyes. Uh, they all seem to be normal. All right, we're gonna free everybody and congregate in the main hall. Okay. Come on, guys, follow me. Uh, where's the main hall? The cross or the big? Uh, the big one where, where I wrote yes for some okay. reason. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can, we'll just hand wave and say they're all there. Okay. All right, then we move uh, all the minis. Are the guys up yet? Uh, yeah, they're all walking around. Man, I feel bad leaving this group. Here. No, no, the cult guys that we tied up. Uh, no, they're not awake. Yet. It'll be uh, a couple more minutes, maybe half an hour. Oh, you know, we need to go do this secret room. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. We need to uh, at least see what's in it. We I tell just the. We should be able to tear down the wall, right? I break out some rations and my water skin and try and keep people even. Don't give them too much, but give them a little bit so they can feel a little better while these guys are chipping away at that door. Yeah, depending on how much... You know what? My mic, was down. They've been... my mic was up that whole time. Depending on what you're doing and how you do it, the stones can just be pulled down easily. But it makes a lot of noise. Yeah, they, they can slam on it. Yeah. Eldrick Blast. So it's a desk... Uh, give me an investigation. Ooh, I love these. Uh, help. <laughs> He's gonna help, so take... Right. A uh -huh. seven is good enough. 21. You still have my inspiration. <laughs> you can add a d6 to one of your rolls. Let's just say it took five minutes to give him the 21. You're just gonna keep searching until you find something. So you find a list on a scroll of parchment. Oh. Let me share it with you. I just showed it to players. 
It's a Whoa. list of names. Uh, additionally, there is a bowl in which you find probably 50 or 60 very small BB-sized uh, orange balls. If you if they're like gelatin. Yeah. What in the world? Here's another thing. I've been asking if you're going to take short rests. I'm going to identify magic items in short rests and long rests. Uh -huh. So if you take a short rest, you'll notice that that studded leather is plus one armor. Uh, and these balls are beads of nourishment. They're enough to feed you for a day. Well, uh... And there's 50, I 50 asked days the... worth. Uh, uh, well... Do do you guys think we need to eat these? Well, I mean, save these or g give some out to these guys and ladies. I'd say one per person to the prisoners would be good. Okay, I give them each one. Become very refreshed. But and then we can. Could... Okay, good. <laughs> I had a a deep feeling that there might that might have been poison for a second. How many? Short, you took how, a short rest to identify. You know what they were. Uh, true. Uh, do you guys share this list of names? Yeah, we we take matter. the paper. Okay. Uh, the only thing I'm noticing right away is those all look like human names. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Which is probably why they let the Tabaxis go when they caught them, and why, if I'm now remembering correctly, they said they're only experimenting on humans. But then why did they cut up an Aarakocra? Mistaken identity? Because they really don't like... They gotta cut through the bird suit. That's funny. I'm oh, sorry. Hmm. Well, we have a group of... Uh, a group of refugees to take back to town. Um, was there any other doors? Because those look like doors back here. There are three more doors. Uh, oh, what? Come on, guys. We still got some stuff. I guess we can do the closest one first. Uh, does it look to be locked? Uh, no. Let me just reveal it for you, because there's nothing dangerous in it. Dangerous? Okay, so what you see are ten beds Looks in a safe. barracks, a privy in the northern corner, a stretcher with nothing on it but blood, an oven, which is being used to make... Give me a history check. Someone... I don't know anything about history. I'm not proficient. Uh, Greenwall, I think you're muted. I am. I am indeed. Uh, okay. I just saw the thing lighting up. Quiet. And... Bad habit. I'm not used to being on push to talk. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I need to turn that off. Sorry. I got it, too. Uh, above the oven, you can see written in common, even in death, there are sides. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Above the oven, that's right... I can't click with a pan view on... Yeah, right there, thank you. It says, even in death, there are sides. Ew. And it looks like they were burning people. Like people, people, human people, or uh, you can't tell from the bones. There's no medicine skulls. check. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. I and am slowly were, leaving. They were using the bodies to make what's on the table right here. No. That weird, weird iron, weird steel, dark steel tools. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be the pellets. <laughs> I did too. I was like, oh, God. 
They've been eating people! Well, well technically, none yeah. of us are human, so it's not cannibalism? Yeah. Question mark? I won't yeah. that. In death, there are sides? What do you... Even in death, there are sides. Mm. Uh, can I search the room for anything interesting? Uh, you may try. Also, since I was muted for saying this, I'm, I did say that when we went to explore that I was going, but still carrying the girl around with me. Okay. Yeah, that, that's good to know. I got the 21 on my investigation. Woo. Uh, you find, under all of the beds, there are some coinage. Under one of them, there's a diamond. <gasps> in, total, coins? in total, you collect 150 gold and a 200 GP diamond. 200? GP diamond. Gold gold worth diamond. Yep. And cool. we're, running, we're running low on time, so let's... I was hoping we could hurry up, but we're going to have to finish the next session, I think. But let's keep going. Yes. Okay, under this door that you've just gone to, right there. I know it looks empty, but it's full of water. Huh? There's an oval pool. Let me freehand one in. Oh, here we go. In the middle. And other than that oddity, it's about five feet deep if you want to get in it. No. And there's nothing really else in the room. It doesn't signify what this is for. Baptism. Probably next. Some, uh, uh, the the next one or... is uh, uh, the next one is eerily similar, except it has a woman floating face down in it. Oh no. She's alive. Flip her over, quick! Get it. Mm. Uh, we pull her out. We move in to pull her out. Uh, she starts coughing. Check her eyelids. They're double. Slit her throat. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I just tie them up? <laughs> that sequence oh, of events went very quickly. <laughs> uh, I meant. I see. I see him I draw. Him. I'm like, no. I meant to say, he... yeah, he's right. He's been pushing for tying them all up, so uh, I, I do agree with that. Okay. <laughs> that was a procession. I slid her. I mean, I. Slid her. <laughs> I slid. Like, no. I sl was... I slide the rope around her. <laughs> it was quite the procession. JP, he's reaching. He's reaching. He's reaching. I'm reaching. You gotta shoot him if they're reaching. No, I stopped. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll listen to Katash. He seems like he knows a thing or two. I mean, we gotta know what these pools are for. And she basically knows what they are for, I guess. And why they can hang out face down in them. I, I guess she heard us and was trying to kill herself. Or, well, I'll make a religion check. Okay, let let's try my proficiency. Oh, nice. never mind. <laughs> Katash beat me to it. Now, he doesn't need proficiency. He just guesses. Um, oh, I heard some drunken cleric rambling, and I just had to was, remember. There was a very old um, prophecy, which you could look into further, which said that the people would be changed in pools of blue light. And that's what you had mm. here, pools of blue light. Ew. Do you feel changed? She's got the double eyelids. She's one of them. Huh. I wonder how much contact you need with this water to turn into one of them. I uh, think to uh, myself as I clean my fur. <laughs> <laughs> it was just my feet. <laughs> Double toenails. As we're walking huh. around free freely, can everyone one more time give me perception checks? Uh, uh, Get it? It was performance again. God. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. There's another similar secret door. Right there. What? Katash is like a secret door magnet. Well, I mean, I'm not the one that found uh, it. There's there's no oh, threat, and we're hurting for time, so I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. Ah. It's a similar pool to the submersion pools, except it's not deep. It's also blue, but it has blue glowing berries growing out of a bush that it's in the middle of. Not it. <laughs> Uh, I want to collect some berries, but I don't want to use my hands. I I try to snatch up the entire bush. Uh, you can do it easily. It it's oh, not nice. rooted. It's not rooted in the water. It just comes right up. There are about thirty berries. All right, oh. I, I just take the whole bush with us. <laughs> Here, here's the sack. Put it in. Job's done. <laughs> put the put the bush in the bag. Uh. I was gonna ask you handling the uh, the Warcraft orc because <laughs> it was so similar. I was like, "Oh man, is he doing that on purpose?" Or it, it's the uh, the humans from Warcraft. Oh yeah, humans, humans. Yeah, job's done. Yeah, that's awesome. The the orcs scream and they're like, "I'm sorry, sir." It's yeah, like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's actually where I got the voice idea from there. Well, we've got a bush, we've got a child, and we've got like 20 people. And three prisoners. And like two or three conspiracies. <laughs> <It's a damn> <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Because we also have a statue we have to take home. Yeah. <laughs> well, remember, he drew us with a cart, so we have one. Yeah, You're that's not wrong. what I'm saying. Damn good thing we have a wagon. <laughs> oh boy. Well, okay. Let's uh let's mark the location of this place so we know exactly where it is on the map. Because I, I think we're gonna be coming back here someday. Let me do a thing real quick and then we'll finish it up, okay? Okay. And we all suddenly die. <laughs> As you're gathering things together and leaving, there is a boom from the portal room. Oh, no. The portal closes, you'll find out later. And this dark energy spills forth and evaporates through the portal, like a vacuum. And as you are leaving, after this has happened, you're shaken. Maybe you inspect the place again, that's how you know the portal's closed. As you are leaving, when you're ready to go and you're all done and everything's sorted, that Eric Okra that you were trying to bury earlier sits up once the dark miasma has left and says, hello, and that's where we'll end it. I... Alright. What just happened? I'm sorry. Uh, the, the guinea pig, pig bird is now just sitting straight up talking to us. <laughs> the girl? No, the bird. Mm -hmm. The dead bird. Okay. The, the autopsy experiment. Oh, okay. He's a formerly not alive dead person. Chains. <laughs> well, well, that's I mean, interesting. The still wound, like open chest. Uh, you're in the area as the miasma clears, and as soon as that darkness leaves, the wounds start to close up, and he starts to reach into himself and pull out the tools, and he sits oh, up. Oh my lord! Uh, who are you? Let me turn on his title card. How do I do that? Why can't I click on him? I'm in the GM of InfoLayer. He says, My name is Saint Periculum. I'm the demigod of Lost and Found. That's a demigod. Awesome. And that's where we'll end. And his name right. is Saint Prick. Prick. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was like, are we all on the same notion that his name is Prick? And... Yeah. 
And that was one session Can't that I check. thought I thought wouldn't fill three hours, and it did. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> Is this person really a god? Save your <laughs> insights. Uh, this one is done. So just throw. Wow. Okay. I had fun. Good. That's all I want. Okay, Des. I'll see you guys in a week. <laughs> Alright, later. Appreciate the session. Yeah, no problem. Alright, I guess. Hey, thanks for running. See you guys. Yeah. How about I get my later, thing fi figured out I'll be, uh, later? I'll be up a lot on uh, Discord if you have anything, so. Alright, bye. Yeah. Bye. And guys, I, I've, I've been on Roll20 for a long time, so if you guys need any help or any questions, I can definitely need the help. help. Yeah. Alright, so. Awesome, thank you. Cool, man. Yeah, probably ain't been on as long as him, but I know the little I know, so. One of us will answer you if we know. I, I used to know a lot more, but I, I've like I've forgotten everything about how this works. Later, guys. Later. Later. Take it easy.